Stand by, Milkman. Stand by. Man, I fucked your dick, man! How does your bicycle seat smell after a hard day's ride, huh? God damn it, woman! I don't know, faggot. Business hours are Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., Friday, 8 a.m. to 11 p.m., and Saturday through Sunday, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. It's located at... <laughs> For the pharmacy, or the retail of the system, press electronic, press 2. To speak to the store operator, press 0. Or please wait... Please hold while your call is transferred. Hey, everybody! This is a call to call open! <laughs> Target West, how may I help you? Yeah, hi. Uh, I am trying to flush some things down the toilet here. Okay. And there seems to be a lot of water around. I'm sorry, it's very loud because I'm flushing the toilet. Are you there? Yes, we'll have somebody over there in just a minute. All right, well, before you come here, um, I, I kind of locked the door from the inside. Okay. All right. All right, so what had happened was, when you send someone back here, let me stop flushing the toilet. There's water everywhere. All right, so what had happened was that I kind of had um, like an accident uh, in my car, like, a def like I had a bowel movement when I thought it was like a fart, so... Um, I came in here and I'm just trying to flush my underwears down the toilet because I don't want my wife to find out what happened. She thinks I just farted, okay. but I didn't. So, do you have any double 2XL Hanes underwear, tartan plaid uh, boxer shorts? At Target? Yeah. Yes, I'm sure we do. Can you guys, can you bring me back a, a packet? I mean, I'll totally pay for it, but I, I need to put that on before. Or I step out of here. Okay. All right. So I need that, and then like this. Could you repeat what you needed? Huh? Could you repeat what you needed? Yeah. Well, it, I need a size two XL Hanes tartan plaid boxer shorts, not the briefs, the shorts. 
Now, okay, perfect. We'll have somebody out there to help you. Okay, now wait a minute. There's more. Now, the toilet paper you have here isn't cutting it. Do you, can you okay. also bring me a package of the Scott, Scott, uh, Scott towel, wet wipes, toilet paper, flushable toilet wipes? Yes. Okay. We'll then, see if we can. All right. Then I also need a, a bottle of the spray deodorant, Old Spice, um, the Pure Sport. Okay. Okay. Um, do you have clothespins here? Clothespins? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure, but I could definitely ask. All right. Well, yeah, definitely. Whoever's coming in here, they need you need to get a package of clothespins because. Uh, it just smells really, it smells like a rotten egg sandwich in here right now. So they're going to want to put that on their nose. Okay. Okay. All right. And then the last thing is, can you get me a cherry icy from the, 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 the restaurant part? Um, I'm not sure if I could do that, but I'll definitely ask um, our security. Okay. Well, who's going to come here? Um, most likely our security. Okay, and I don't want any trouble, okay? Or any laughing, you know? No, 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 there won't be any trouble. He's just the one that um, takes care of these matters. All right, so he's going to bring the underwear. What else? Um, you have the wet wipes, and then you have Old Spice, Pure Sport, the bottle, and then... The spray. The spray bottle. Yes, the spray bottle. Okay. All right. And then... Okay. And I recommend something to clip his nose. Clothespin... Or anything else, you know, th that can clip, like a binder clip. I'm sure you have those. Okay. Okay. Hey, I have a coupon for the Pure Sport. Okay. Do I give that to the security guard when he gets here? Um, well, let me just inform him, uh -huh. and then I'll let you know. Should I wait to find out? Do you want me to talk to him? Uh, yes. Give me a second, please. All right. Let's go. Hopefully this yes, am a little better now. Not so much echo. Well, milkman, you in here in the toilet with me? Milkman, oh. hey, what's up? I'm in the little boat. I'm in the little boat beside you. Oh, nice. Look down the toilet. I'm a little tiny boat. Oh, cool. Hey, uh, put your pecker under the partition, and I'll, I have a surprise for you. I'm gonna do this. I'm done with this. This is silly. That echo's giving me a headache. Hi, everybody. How y'all doing? I'm Carlito, and this is Madhouse Radio on a Friday night this week. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Carlito, fat man, the fattest man in prank calls. That's right. I'm the originator of so many different prank calls and so many ideas. I'm the original. I'm the real deal. There wouldn't be a prank call community as it is right now if it wasn't for me and Brad Carter. I'll tell you what, Bobby. Milkman, how are you? Milkman's over here. Big Milkman. What's going on, my brother? It's all right. It's all right. How are you doing, Mr. Uber taxi driver guy? Um, I'm doing great, man. Help with that doesn't help sound. Uber. That doesn't that's, sound that's very. A bad word. That doesn't sound. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's a lot. A lot of stress. I, I heard Uber got like uh, got beat down in New York City this week, right? Then they get like limited the number yeah. of cars they can have in the city now. Oh yeah, well they should have. I mean, fuck, it's been going on for years. How they got guys don't committing suicide out there, man? It's crazy. Let me tell you what. Uh, we there took ain't a... no fucking tax or anything. I'm gonna commit suicide ever. I don't give a fuck. There ain't no one gonna feel sorry for you. Listen, let me tell you what. I'm um, afraid not in this day and age. The wife and I took an Uber in New York City. We took Ubers all over the city. We took one yellow taxi when we were there like a mm -hmm. couple months ago, and. Um, fuck that taxi shit. We did Uber the rest of the way. Way better experience, better price, more convenient, etc. Nicer cars. Um, the Uber driver that took us to Penn Station when we were leaving the hotel to come back to to PA, 
That motherfucker was so overworked that he almost ran over a fucking traffic cop. Like, he literally just wasn't going to stop for this female traffic cop to the point where, like, when he finally stopped, the traffic cop was a black lady, sassy black New York (laughs) lady. She's just like, the fuck is wrong with you? Like that. And he's like, oh, God, I can't, I can't, uh, falling asleep. I'm like, and, and I'm like sitting there like, okay, I, I'm, I'm really tempted to jump out of the car now on the Long Island Expressway here and, and just walk to Penn Station. Jesus Christ, help us. I got a half asleep Uber driver here who's been probably been driving for like three days straight, blasting NPR, like blasting it on, 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 lo- on 11. Oh my God, what an experience. But I'm, I'm, yeah, but I agree with you, man. They're overworked, suicidal. It's crazy out there, man. Yeah. Yeah. You're not suicidal, right, when it comes to driving? No, I'm just I'm suicidal. You're far away, buddy. You're far away. You're far away from the phone. Cool. I said, no, no, no. I said, I'm homicidal. I'm quite the opposite. Uh, well, this well, this guy was homicidal, Hello? too. I'm here. I said, I'm homicidal. I said, I'm going to kill you. That's not necessary. Did you, did you hear me? Yeah, you want to kill me. You're homicidal. That's right. I'm not, I am not. don't want to die. I want you to die. All Let's... circuits are busy now. Please tell uh-huh. me call again later. All right. Maybe I'm missing a digit there with that number. I don't know. All right. We got plenty of numbers here from Parkman and Associates. Big Ethan sending some numbers. Uh, Let me get our music for tonight queued up here. We got a little bit of the Beastie Boys. Keep in mind that I am broadcasting. Where's my request? Well, it's here, Milkman. I will play it. We'll we'll get to that. We have we have plenty of show. We're gonna do four hours. We're going until uh, we're gonna go until 11 p.m. my time. 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8 p.m. Pacific tonight. For an extra hour of dosages for you, since we missed last night our regular show. And, uh, oh, oh, okay, so look, and it's this Friday night, fuck it, we know we get to drink, you know, right? Yeah, we get to yeah. drink, that's what KDK would say if he was here. Listen, guys, we gotta talk business, though, alright, so, 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 Milkman, I don't think I've talked to you about this yet. So, two items to bring up. Number one, last week I talked about a, uh, a new tier level for Madhouse Patreon, which is gonna be called... The machine level, a $10 tier so that you could get access to an exclusive uh, 45 minute to one hour show weekly. Um, I've reconsidered that because I don't I think that's a lot of money, actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to offer that to all existing and future horse members. So if you become a five dollar, not ten, five dollar contributor, our, our existing second tier already, which includes quite a few, quite a bit number of people also already horses. Um, you are the ones who are going to get this benefit when we roll it out here in the next couple weeks. So, just uh, I reconsidered it. I, I took some. Uh, I, I thought about it for a week. I talked to Parkman, sent me an email discussing it also, and he had some good points. So I think that's what we're going to do um, now. If you, right. but 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 okay. So I well, still. What do we I, get for this? What do we get now? Enhanced with this. With this new horse membership, which is still the same one with an answer. Well, you're just going to get a- exclusive access to a, a separate podcast feed uh, that uh-huh. has a separate show. It, it's going to be a different. It's going to be a prank call show still, but it's going to be recorded off air. Won't be a live show, and it'll be me more doing the stuff with like you know people on Skype or off air doing more hood ratty shit. Uh, I don't think Milkman's going to be as involved, but. You're gang always bang you know, a gang bang, gang bang and stuff like you like to call it that you don't like it. Milkman doesn't like it when too many people are on on the Skype. No, I don't, Skype. I don't like it. Hey, don't get me wrong. Uh, I like uh, it. I just I people don't talk like over it. me and then I can't I can't I can't stay on right. for long. Here, let me settle a bet. I got a bet with myself. Milkman, who do you like more? Who do you like more? Ken or Dwight McClanahan? Dwight the janitor. Who do you like more? Who do I like better? Yeah. Ken or Dwight? I like Ken because Ken is like like everybody. He's Dwight, he's Ken, he's okay. like all these other crazy fuckers. Okay. You know you but know that Dwight you know is just Dwight. 
Okay, you know that Dwight is Ken, right? Uh, do you know they're the same right, person? Right, okay, all right, all right. I wasn't a hundred percent. I wasn't a hundred percent sure you knew Dwight and Ken were the same person. I don't know why I thought about that. I know. All right, all right. I don't know. I don't know. Dwight is a character, and, and he's one character, but Ken is like the mastermind of about a dozen other characters. So yeah, I would go with Ken. Yeah, man. It's like I, you know, I'm really Carlos. Big surprise, but. I mean, uh, 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 to you all, I'm Carlito. Respect me. I'm Carlito. I'm the originator of all this shit. I came up with all the ideas, all the ideas, except for Twitter complainers. Brad Carter invented that. I invented the Lunk Alarm. I invented the same machine all the time. I'm the motherfucker. I'm the nigga, as Jen Stewart would say. Hey, don't horse around with the yeah. machine. Right. So speaking of machines, so that tier is still going to be around. Um, what I'm planning, so I just want to, you know, if you donate 10 or more there, we do have a few people that donate $10 or more. Um, I'd like to give them a special designation so they become machine members. Now, what I, what I am going to do with that is I'm coming up, Athena and me both are coming up with like a care package that we can give you, we can send to you once you become a, a, a machine member, or if you're already established as one, when we roll this out. You would get a, a care package of some goofy shit, some Madhouse stickers, maybe a T-shirt. We're trying to work out the financials about it. Uh, maybe around the holidays you'll get a special gift, you know, things like that. <clears throat> Just for a contributing, because we have some contributors that contribute 40 bucks, 30 bucks, I think. There's a few. We got quite a few $10 supporters also. So I want, I want there to be some distinction. And later on, there might be even right. more that goes to that. But I, I just, I, and I was thinking, I was like, man, ten dollars a month—that's, that's a lot, <clears throat> you know. That's that's more than a lot of things that I pay for, um, monthly. That's more than like web host, the, like the shoutcast hosting is for this network, and that's not right to be asking you guys for that much money. So there we go. I hope you guys are okay with that. Uh, it's going to take some time to roll out. Okay, so issue number two. Here we go. All right, so. We got good news and bad news. Uh, f some of you may know that I, I did a bit of stand-up comedy when I lived in Florida. And I got out of it when I moved up to PA. And then I did a little more here in Pennsylvania uh, <clears throat> when there was the great schism of Prank Call Nation. I went back to my roots and I was doing, uh, I did some, some improv. Um, I've been re-invited to that. That's a Thursday night thing, though, unfortunately. <laughs> It's a Thursday night uh, comedy club thing that goes on. It, they had gotten rid of it, so I stopped doing it. I was going. They got rid of it. I stopped doing it. Now it's back, and I know I've, I, I know people who are in it, and they said, hey, uh, it's time for, you know, if you want to come by, down. And I'm, I'm thinking about doing it, actually, because I, I, I think it might help out the show. So, Milkman, this would – and I got to ask you because then I'm worried about you because you're busy – your busy night at work is Friday. Like you're you're putting yourself out in order to do a, a show with us tonight, right? Like it's affecting you in the pocketbook? I'm supposed to be working, dude. I'm supposed to be working right now. But, I, just, you know, I didn't want to miss out on, on us doing something. So right. I said I'd, I'd come on tonight. Because I'm considering – I mean, I would do that Thursday nights and then the next night, Friday night, I would do Madhouse Radio Show. You know, we would move the show from, I know we just started Thursdays again, but I would move it to Friday instead. And it's a more fun night, but that affects you, Milk, man. We could connect yeah, you in the car. We could do the car machine. Not, not work. But that's not, not going to work, work right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, shit. So there you go. There goes my dream. What about Wednesday show, dude? Ah, Wednesday. That's terrible night. A terrible night for that. Well, how's that any worse than Thursday? Think about it. I'm not going to uh, argue with you, buddy, but think about it, man. How's that any worse than when? You know what? Forget, I just, I'll give up on my dream to be a stand-up comedian. It's okay. That's all right. Milk, man. Don't, be, don't give up your dream. I just, we'll, just, we'll do the show a day before that. One so, day before. That's all. We'll figure something out, bro. Don't close your mind. Yeah, don't close your mind, brother. Don't well, close your mind. Are Saturdays busy for you? How are your Saturdays? Is that a biz? That's a busy weekends day, too. Are, you know, weekends is like when I do all my work. Right, That's my hardest right, time, right? right That's why. Right, 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 right. Weekends is where I make the money. All right. Well, we'll not, figure something not out, good bro. for the show. I'm sorry, brother. It's okay. We'll figure it out. We'll figure sorry my schedule works like that. We'll make it work. Listen, everyone, anyway, speaking of Patreon, patreon.com slash madhouse. Uh, become a militia member for $1 a month and get access to the instant show reel. You can hear all these shows that you're listening to. The live shows immediately after the show is over, it is available to you. If you missed the show, you can go back and listen to it 
before it hits, before it gets edited and it hits the podcast on Monday morning, you'll be able to hear it, you know, before that in higher in high quality, 128K, etc. And then the $5 horse membership that we talked about. I have other links to give out, but in the meantime, we have calls to get to. All in due time, folks. All in due time is you will get we will get all our plugs in, if you know what I mean. Let me go over to that list. Uh, from Mr. Parkman. We'll start out with Parkman's numbers tonight, I think. Yes, sir, Mr. Parkman. Oh, you shall have my brother. We got a job for training and certifications, yeah. Training and certification machines from the man who invented machines. Hello, this is Tammy. Hi, Surf Safe Training and Certification. Yes. I've uh, looking to see, uh, you know, regarding getting some training and certification. I want to become Surf Safe certified. I want to learn how long the chicken should be out at the temperature with the thermometer. And that uh, you're not supposed to put the chicken over the beef in the defroster to leak in the bottom. And you're supposed to – do you, ha- you have to wash your hands every time you go to the bathroom, not just when you poop. Yeah, correct. On all fronts. Right. Uh, where are you located at? I'm in Reno. Okay, cool. Your, your phone number said Laughlin, so I was just checking. Yeah, well, it's it's different, but I'm in the area. Obviously, I'm in Nevada, aren't I? Um, yes, but the reason I was asking oh. is it would be a long way for you to travel for an in-person class. Okay. All right. Um, what do I need to answer? Do I have to tell you if I've been diagnosed with anything? No. All right. You're well, just coming to class. Well, yeah, because I'm diagnosed as medically perverted, and I have to bring my therapy dog Homer to the training. Oh, your hair. Okay, your your dog Homer. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a problem. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. he's a Rottweiler. Okay. okay. And what restaurant do you work for? And what firm? Uh, what restaurant do you work for? Oh, I don't yet. That's what I'm saying. I got diagnosed medically perverted. I lost my job. I used to work for uh, Macaroni Grill. You ever heard of that? Yeah. Yeah. You ever heard of Brinker? Um, Security? Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever heard of water? Okay. International yeah. f- international food machines. Okay. All right. What can um, I answer for you? So Let's go. Come on. You're starting to really, you know, get on my case here. Um, are you looking to come to the class on August 26th? Okay. Well, what do I need to bring? Well, what I need from you first is just your name and your email address. Right. And once I get that, I'll mail you with the class information. Mm-hmm. And it's ready to attach. The class is $175. Oh, Jesus. And God damn it. Yep, that's uh, How about a student loan? What was that whistle? Uh, that was not me. That was you. That wasn't me. I, I don't whistle. Uh, I can't. Look. <laughs> I can't. This is the best I can do. That's the best I can do. Okay. Um, there's no student loans. You have to pay cash or business check or card, and that's to save your registration. God damn it. Okay. What else? What else do I need to know about this? That's it. So you just want money and I that's just all. show up? What time do I show up? Well, that's why I need your email address. I send you the class information no, blah, and a study blah, guide blah, that you can start. Blah, 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 blah. Gotcha. All right. So, um, first name is Orion. Ryan? No, Orion. There's an A. It's like Ryan with an A at the beginning. Orion. Okay. Okay. Last name White. Okay. Okay. And what's your email address? It's my first name, Orion.White. At triple K dot com. Okay. So you send me that shit, all right? Because I got a lot of shit I got to do, motherfucker. Sounds good. All right. Hurry up.
Nah, whatever. Stupid piece of shit prank call. Yeah. No clapping. No clapping. <laughs> Boy, I tell you what, she was pretty uh, compliant there. She was uh, doing real good. I mean, I don't know. You probably delivered at least six back slaps there, and she didn't respond. Yeah. Good customer service, girl. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm milk man. That's what you got to do. You have to start going around and rating. Yeah. Going around and rating people's customer service skills, right? Yeah. And that's what, and this will be an yeah. additional service we'll yeah. offer right here at the Madhouse. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right, buddy. Let, listen, uh, here's a voicemail from Find out your customer service quality rating. This is a voicemail Use from last week that I wanted to play. Uh, it helps if I turn it up. This is Little Lunch Lady. Uh, hey, thanks a lot, man, for... Uh, Keeping the uh, uh, the stream of the uh, podcast on the iTunes going. I don't listen to live shows anymore since I retired, but it's really cool to just you know hear you on the iTunes. And, uh, thank you. I don't know why you don't like me, but I like you. Uh, here's a big kiss. Mwah. Puppy baby. Peace. Uh, what the fuck is a lunch lady? Mm. Wow, you got a sloppy kiss! Oh my goodness. Yeah. Lunch lady, hey. lunch lady. See, lunch lady is a, is a is a bipolar psychotic because lunch lady goes one minute and says, "Oh, I like you and I love your shit," and then I look in the chat room now and lunch lady's saying e begging and begging and begging for money and all this shit. Like, dude, war, pick a stance to stay there, bro. You know what I mean? Like, pick, where are you at? Be a man. Come front. If you want to talk shit about. You know, because, I don't know, you started up your own fucking Patreon shit, and then you got a total of zero fucking donations. Not my fucking problem, man. Don't get mad at you. <laughs> Speaking of which, the call-in line is open, 405-396-6884. Once again, that's 405-396-6884. All right, let's get back to the prank calls. I got to get to these early, says Parkman, because... The clothes. This is for a quality Timing inspector numbers. job. Timed number. Timed number. I'll time your number. Expiration date. I'm not trying to talk shit, uh, lunch lady, but come on, man. Like, are you, are you cool or not? Why, why are you saying one thing now in chat and then you say another thing last week on the voicemail? Thank you for calling where, where AAA you Personnel Services. This is Christina. How may I help you? Christina, you tell me. Tell me. You tell me where you're at because you're telling me one thing now and you're telling me another thing last week. I, who, who am I talking to? I'm talking about the job, quality inspector. But you need to come. You know, don't waste my time. You're gonna well, tell me who, something who now and then I called last. You know, you called me last who week. Who are you? Huh? Who are you? Orion. Uh, you're who? Orion. Orion, and you've talked to who? Who have you been talking? Because I don't. You, you people. Okay. Christine. You people. It says you. You call me, Christine. I called you and left a message. You for say you something on your... now. You say one thing now when I call, but you didn't say the same thing when you called and left me a message. What did I say when I called and left you a message? You said thanks a lot for keeping things going, and I don't, I don't like you anymore because I'm retarded. You said, and it'd be cool to let you know that you were thinking about me, and you, you said you don't know why I don't like you. <laughs> uh, is this a joke? No, I was calling about the quality inspector job. You're you're making a joke, huh? No, I'm you're calling about funny. the quality inspector job. Hang on a second. I, I got, the girls have to hear this one, this message that I left. Hang on a second. Shall we can, you can you put me on speakerphone? Yeah, on speaker, because I want you to tell them. That's funny. That's funny. Am I on speakerphone? No, they won't come in here. Oh, shit. The phones won't stop ringing. Tell Anyways, yes, I, let's get back to that, but I do want you to hear. I want you to repeat that message that you said. But uh, I do have a quality inspector position out at USA Park. Where you want to go out there? Yeah, I'll go out there. Are you going to be involved right. in that at all? Do you not want me to? Well, yeah, I'd like to inspect you. Inspect, <laughs> inspect your voice. I will. Um, yes, I am going to. I'm, it's my account, so yes, I'm the one that takes care of all that. Kind oh, nice. That's very nice, account. honey. They give you your own account. Wow, very nice. You must be You're so the proud. You're honoring, aren't you? Despite, What's your name? Despite well, your disability. You said, oh. Huh? <laughs> Uh, my name Orion is my name. Spell it. 
A R Y A N. It's like Ryan with an A at the beginning. Orion. You know what? I don't remember calling you. I don't. I would think I would remember that name. That's a very unique name. Yeah. Well, after we meet, you won't be able to forget me. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> I'm very. I think it's going to be vice versa. You just wait. Till oh. You what you got. Yes. Yeah. What's your favorite yeah. sexual act? of business okay but this after after work business. on friday you know we can have a little fun this is a place of business you so know act professional um i'm gonna go ahead and schedule you i like for I, I like a uh, girl on the bottom man on the top okay i'm gonna go ahead and schedule you for um uh -huh. eight nine a.m is that okay sure yeah that's fine that's good okay. yeah on right. the 13th yeah do you know do you know where we're located uh, I've got a, I've got it here. Yeah, you left it on your voicemail. You're in Reno and all that. I, I, you know what? Maybe someone else called you because that doesn't sound like me. No. That I would leave that. I but I know. I'll, 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 I'll figure it out. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Okay, what's your last? When name? am I gonna be inspecting? Um, I'll tell you all about that, and I'll tell you about everything when you get here. Okay. And it's gonna be, yeah. All right. What's your last name so I can get you in the calendar? White, like the color. And then tell me, um, what's your phone number so I can get back to you if I have to? Uh, yeah, phone number. Just a minute. It's a new number, so I just got to make sure I gave you. Because I just moved here, you know, from Rogersville, Kentucky. Okay. All right. Um, so I'm going to get you in the calendar for anywhere between um, 9 a.m. 10. Okay. Yeah, 9. Yeah, I'll, I'll change it to 9. All That's right. Cool. What do you like for um, breakfast? I'll bring you something. You like, do you like, uh, you like a oh. bagel? Sure. All right. Cool. What sure, kind of what's your, what kind of bagel do you like? Um, I'm more of a health kind of thing, so I like healthy ones. There's no such thing as a healthy bagel. You want me to get you something there different? Is. There is. Yeah, there's like the 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 wheats, and they have like the the little flax seeds and all kinds of stuff on the outside. That's yeah, those are good. Okay, I'll get you something with flax seed and something like that. Cream cheese? No, yeah. probably not. I like cream cheese. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do. Okay. I like. I don't need to worry about eating right. Oh, come on. Oh, you haven't okay. seen me yet. No, we're gonna work it. We're gonna work it off. Don't worry. <laughs> I all right. <laughs> I'm gonna need to. All right. So I anyways. know what it's like. You're lonely. <laughs> you really want to meet this handsome guy that called you on Monday. <laughs> You're gonna be I'm not lonely. You're going to be thinking about me all weekend. You're going to be wrenching your panties dry. I got I'm it. I'm actually, I am curious because I've never had this sort of call, so this is interesting. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, I've been looking for a job for two years, and I've been running out of ideas, so I figure what the heck. Ah, so you figure, like, you know what, just hopefully a girl answers the phone, and we'll see what I can work. Hey, how did you hear about us? Just by me calling you, or did you hear about us any other way? On the Craigslist. Right on. Yeah, okay. Right on. All right, listen, uh, I really, I got to go take a shit. I got to go. All right, I'll see you Monday. Okay, sounds good. All right, bye. Thanks. Whatever. Fuck, why'd I have to get married? Why'd I have to get married? She hasn't, she hasn't listened to you take a shit. <laughs> That's the second time recently where I've had a woman just been like, oh, you're so funny and crude. <laughs> oh, that's nice, big girl. <laughs> You're so funny and nice crude. Call. I want to hang out with oh, you. All right, hell yeah, oh, that right there. That's a ten call right there for sure. <laughs> Poor thing. If she actually saw me, she'd be so disappointed. Now, dude, now she's gonna be disappointed that you don't show up, right? Because dude, you just sold a bill of fucking good. She's, <laughs> she's ready, gonna she even sold the wet flavor. <laughs> she's gonna skip her breakfast bagel for a bagel. <laughs> Guys, there's no such thing as a healthy bagel. You can put, you know, you can put. I can get uh, a fucking pizza and, and dumped in fried yeah, oil, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's bagels are not healthy in any way. It doesn't matter what you put on it. I could put on the healthy. I could put a salad on top of a greasy pizza. It's still a fucking bad fucking meal for me. So flaxseed isn't gonna just like a chili salad, right? Is that is that is, is that healthier? Uh, is a chili salad instead if, of a chili. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. On average, as far as caloric intake is concerned, I think a bagel's worse than a croissant, and croissants are fucking fried in butter. 
or something. I don't know. They're fried per se. Uh, a croissant. A croissant should be done with like really thin layers of dough, like like kilo type of dough. Yeah, but a lot of butter. And then roll. It's right? puff yeah, pastry. Isn't it puff pastry with uh, butter uh, rolled out? Puff pastry, I think. I don't know that part. I don't know that exact part. I... Kilo. I bet Thank you, you for calling you know. McDonald's. For anything related to employment hey, at McDonald's or for information on obtaining a W-2 form, oh, we're overdue press for marijuana. 1. McDonald's customers, please press 2. Hey, McDonald's, let's do a bong hit. Yeah, we're going to complain about the Coke Zero and the, Mc- and the Daily right. Double. Hello? To find a restaurant with free Wi-Fi, Jeez. visit mcdwireless.com. For Wi-Fi technical assistance, say technical support. Complaint. Can I help you with anything else today? Complaint. Can I help you with anything else today? <sighs> Complaint. Can I help you with anything else today? To tell us about. Complaint. Complaint. To Complaint. tell us about. Because your call is so important to us, it will be recorded for quality assurance. In addition, if your call is regarding yeah, feedback about your recent experience at one of our restaurants, the call recording may be shared with the McDonald's franchise owner or uh-huh, others uh-huh. responsible so. for yeah, restaurant you operations. Do have our permission. You do have Please our hold, permission. and I'll connect that. you to the next available agent. <laughs> this is a time when we get flagged by YouTube, and I can't monetize the shit because the fucking oh, copyright yeah, right. you know is no. 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 So we gotta way. talk over it. If you like, we talk yeah. over it so that it doesn't get flagged. How does, how does your bicycle seat fucking smell drunk, after a hard day's ride? I don't know, faggot. A fit people. God damn it, woman, I tell you what, you listening to me? Hijo de tu pinche reputa madre, maricón cabrón de mierda. All the pickles, all the lettuce, special orders would upset us if we still did them without charge. All the pickles, all the lettuce, special orders do really upset us. Right, I'm going to play the whole game. Extra. Hang on. We'll play the whole game and see if I can snipe it out of there. Uh, while we wait, MadhouseLive.com is the main website for the show. MadhouseLive.com. You can subscribe to the podcast. Get all our tune in links. Again, uh, oh, I didn't mention, but I did put on Facebook that. The uh, we have that on the go number, the 605 475 0097. That usually lets you call in and listen to the show live or to Ooh, our uh, rotation. It is it's down right now. Hello, oh, shit. oh, yeah, it's down right now, so don't bother trying to call it tonight. Unfortunately, it's down for the count. It's, no. it's, yeah, it's the second time it's Thanks happened in about number, four man. weeks. Sorry about that. Yeah, sorry guys. So, uh, but you can follow me on uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Madhouse on Twitter, and on Facebook Madhouse dot live. All right, you got it. Is there, is there a shoutcast stream URL still out there? Or URL? It's there. I'm not going to give it out. It's a long URL, but you can get that right there from the MadhouseLive.com website, or just use TuneIn Radio, motherfucker. We got a caller. We got a caller, Milkman. Let's put him on while we wait. While we shoot the shit here, motherfucker. Caller, you're on the air. Go ahead. Please don't be mean and nasty. Hello. Caller, you're on the air. Go ahead. Caller, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hello. What caller? Caller. Caller. What caller? What caller? Caller. 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 What caller? Caller. 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 What caller? I'm gonna pull you by the collar. Throw you into the pit with the snakes, you fucking white devil, you. All right, they're not answering. Let's check the on hold. That's a long hold time for McDonald's, man. I know. Ever since they started making them fresh uh, burgers there, the bur- fresh beef, they take a long time in the drive through You know what I'm saying? Have you tried that fresh beef yet, brother? Dude, it's sick, man. They're good, man. Yeah. Kind of crumbly. Fuck. I miss the old burger. I miss the shit burger. Hey, you're on the air. This is Madhouse Radio. Don't be a jerk. Hey, Big Carlito, Big Wasted Memory, how you doing? Hey, Wasted Memory, how you doing? I think I know you from Mixler Chat, am wasted I correct there? Wasted Memory. Yeah, Mixler oh. Machine, man, 
Nick Slim Machine. Big okay. fan of Brad and you guys. Yeah. And, uh, Carlito and thank you. And Milkman too. Don't forget. Oh, he gets jealous, man. Oh jealous. man, dude, I love the Milkman. Uh, Mil- he... Dude, like the best thing. Hello. 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 See now, Hello, now welcome. Milkman's happy. Oh, Carly- Milkman. Early little Milkman's audio problem is make me giggle. I love it. It's, yeah. so, it's so happy. Hey, hey! You, wasted memory reminds me. Milkman, it's been 15 minutes plus. You've been on for an hour and 32, uh, an hour and 32 seconds, and uh, you haven't been dropped. I haven't been cut off yet, dude. Yeah. I've been on an hour and 40 seconds. I'm it's saying. Not cut off. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, thank you. All right, I'm going to give up this McDonald's idea. They got too long of a hold time. Sorry, Parkman. I wanted to complain yeah, about the... Let's try another one. The God try a different David. one. We got a job BK. for a landscaping foreman. Yeah. Yeah. BK has, BK has surge now, man. BK has yes! surge. Yes. Yes. Thank you for reminding me. Yes, dude. I went to uh, I went to Burger King. Yeah, they got surge in the... Fr- and I love that freestyle machine. You know, I, I you know, uh, last weekend I went to the marijuana dispensary, right? And then... Oh. I, I yeah, went inside yeah. the Burger King. I hardly ever go inside oh, to fast food. It was like get motherfucker. Inside that Burger King. Yeah. yeah. I got I got the large meal, the large Burger King, the Bacon Dude. King with the fries. Dude. The fr- <laughs> and then so then I get the large drink and I only fill it halfway with some freestyle. It's just so I can oh, have dude. that flavor, and then and then, and then before they even gave me my food, I had I was on my third freestyle combination, man. Oh, honey, baby. Oh, I'm telling you. Then I had like four different. I had, I had uh, Fanta Zero Grape. I had Mellow Yellow Fruit Punch. I had and then fucking Surge. I had to drink that. Fucking um, surge, man. Yeah, just, back, just, right? So you had to be burping thunder like Dumbo after that. <laughs> no, I was pissing green, so, milk man, is what fucking happened. It looked I like was, fucking... You had to so piss so green. Piss yeah. green? Yeah. What? I, when I first went in to get the surge, I was so drunk, I had to, like, stare at the machine for, like, five minutes to figure out how to get the surge out of the machine. <laughs> You've never used uh, the freestyle machine before, man? I have, but it's just so... I just got... There's so many buttons and these things. Yeah. And you got to, like, read stuff. Yeah. And, well... <laughs> This Burger King I go to, the guy, they're like these, these the high school kids. I guess they know me because they're always like, oh, hey, what's up? And, like, we got Surge now. Like, for real? like, yeah, you want to try it? And like, oh, I'm coming in then. And like, all right. <laughs> and, but then they, they're talking to me like, yeah, dude, they're, they're setting it up so you can put on your phone your favorite one. And then you can scan the machine when you come in. And it just gives it to you. You don't even have to hit all the buttons. I'm like, oh, wow, man. <laughs> that was like, cool. Oh. Cool. All right. I'm fucking sold. Cool mm-hmm. Burger King. Yeah. Burger King. Burger King. McDonald's. Come on, man. You got to get that freestyle machine. And you got to burn that Coke Zero back. I'm just saying. I haven't been to McDonald's since I found out what they did to us, man. Hey, hey, Mama, you're the rock star at the Burger King, man. Fuck yeah. They've been remodeling all the Bur- McDonald's around us, and they all fucking look all corporate and shitty inside. Did and they like- put kiosks? Are you getting kiosks in there? Order kiosks? Oh, yeah, we got kiosks. Like, fuck yeah. That's going to be a thing. That's yeah. Gonna, they're they're yeah. fucking all getting fired. Yeah, fuck them, <laughs> right? And you know what? When they get the robots in the kitchen, that's going to be perfect. I can't wait for the fucking robots. All they're going to need we is one person. Fry, do you ever have the fry robot? We used to have a robot in town that used to cook the fries. No. A, uh, robot arm. Uh-uh, no. Fry bot. And was, fry bot, and really? Fucking, they're they're perfect every time. I miss that fucking See? thing. They got rid of it. See, now, re- so imagine you uh, imagine you go for your Big Mac and and the tomato gets sliced from you know every time and the sh- the lettuce gets shredded fresh every time. It makes it perfect, exactly to order for what you put in the kiosk. You can't be like you guys Dude. fucked it up. And no one's spitting in your fucking food. You're gonna tell me that's that's what's up, man. Fuck 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 them kids. Fucking that's around. The only thing I'm gonna miss is the spit because it really gives McDonald's an extra flavor. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 sometimes I think about how much spit and fucking boogers do I eat a year that's not mine that I had no idea I had because that could be well, an I could be a cunt in the restaurant it sometimes nah. it's not even on purpose it's just people that like don't wear their hair nets and shit <laughs> yeah. and you know, all their shit's getting in there yeah like how many band-aids have I eaten, eaten in my life I didn't even oh. know about can you know? of beans oh no Ugh. hairs right. yeah Dude. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah, and hairs yeah. aren't the problem. That's you know the hairs. If your hair falls on your food, it's probably the cleanest thing in the body that you could have fall on your food because people usually wash their hair pretty regularly. It's that not fucking. Pu- it's just head hair. It's falling. Dude, How much material is on a hair anyway? Yeah. Yeah. This is the fucking hood around here, man. They don't yeah. Well, yeah. White like white <laughs> like black girls don't wash their hair except for once a week, right? Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging.
Striking hey, out with the damage. Call, What's hey, up? You want to call the village deli that everybody else has been calling? Who's everyone else? Are they enemies to the crown? I don't uh, want to encroach. I don't. I don't no, want. No, I mean like I gave it the party time. I gave it to Brad. He called them. They called them, and like, they, they there's a couple guys there to answer, and they usually get pretty angry. Like they they're around the corner from my house, but well, I fucking hate the place. If it's if funny. you if you have me on Facebook, you can send it to me on Facebook. If you have me on uh, Facebook, there. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Let me. Uh, you don't want to give it out over out. there because the number will get out. That's the best I can Jack offer Masterson, you. Buddy. Everybody should call them all at once. It'd be great. <laughs> all of us. I'll, I'll, I'll send it. You know, I feel bad. I talk bad about lunch lady, but come on, man. Like, stop it. All right. Don't get mad at me because I'm trying to eat. Hello, this is Blair. Hi, you got a farm helper job? Um, not anymore. What happened? Yeah, got it filled with a friend of a friend that, uh, that you know, real strong references of somebody who knew the guy. Well, that's not fair. Why don't you take it off the Craig fucking Craigslist then? So I'm not trying to get. Oh, I, I need to do that. That's the first time I've ever done anything on Craigslist. I'll well, take it off. Thank you. You're pretty stupid, you know. Fucking waste of time. Get me all excited for a job? I had a great idea for a ranch hand job. Oh, well, I guess not. Evil Idea? Uh, who's, it? who's this? Not Evil Idea. Is it Evil Ideas is on? Hello? Hello? Hmm. Caller? Caller? Huh? What? What was your name Hello? again? Which caller is this? I'm sorry. Wasted Memories? Wasted Memory. Wasted memory. Yeah, you're not Evil I Ideas. Sent you, I sent you the Facebook machine. Okay, I just heard it ding. So let me get over there. Thank you. And then, and then, unfortunately, you're gonna have to go because you know people are already blowing up the line. Yeah, All right. So, I understand. I so this is a deli. Not, people yeah. get mad. I don't think I've heard it. They get mad. Um, we we usually say there's like like, like they, we start an order and then like say there's poop in the pizza. Uh, Brad City is the corporate office. Okay. And like there, it's a private deli in the BP, but like they still get mad at him. So I mean, like, pretty much just just swear at him. He'll get mad. Do they get hard. eggs? At all, you know, on their menu, or are they more of a sandwich kind of place? Uh, uh, burgers, uh, sandwiches, okay. uh, like a deli sandwich. Like, they don't even have, like, coleslaw or anything. It's not like a real deli. It's oh, a sandwich shop. It's not a Jewish deli. Pizza machine's a piece of shit. Yeah. It's a Gentile right, deli. I got you. I got you. Get me selling on burgers out of deli. Someone hung up. The caller hung up. Sloppy Joe. Village Deli. Yeah, hey, I'd like to make an order. All right. Give me one second. Thanks, brother. Wait, who is this? My name is Orion. Hello? Orion. Oh, okay. Oh, you sound like somebody I knew. Oh, My neighbor. Oh, no, no. Oh. All right, well, what can I get you? Uh, you got burgers, right? Pretty good burgers? Yes, I do. All right, yeah, yeah I'll take uh, one burger machine. A what? A hamburger machine. Hamburger machine? Mm-hmm. What's your name again? Orion. You want a hamburger machine? Well, I mean, where I'm from, we call like a ham, like a sandwich. It's like a sandwich machine. Hamburger, hamburger machine. I guess I hear you just call, you just call it a hamburger sandwich. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm honest. Uh, you want a quarter or a half? Uh, quarter or half? Uh, a half hamburger or a half pound? You're saying half half pound? Half, half pound. pound. Yeah, because I want the whole burger. Yeah. All right. Uh, the cheeseburger. Yeah, and do I get to choose how I want it cooked? Like, do you want what? Do I get to choose how I want it cooked, or do you just do yes. one way? Yes. All right. Did you want to ask me or? Okay. Hello? Man, I was so close to asking for heat. You know what I was going to do, Milkman. You know how I do it. I didn't even get Kurt. Can we do it again? I didn't even get Kurt. Oh, we lost him? Yeah, he hung up. Oh, okay. 
It's just that number. That's why you don't expect nothing on that. You're lucky you got that far. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it's a it's a waste of number. Don't worry about it. Get, get, try the fresh numbers. Hi, you've reached the Village Deli. We open at 10 a.m. seven days a week. Jeez. If you have a large order, please call 24 uh, hours ahead of time, but no later than 10 a.m. the day of. Oh, man, now I'm in trouble. I, I hung up on Milkman on accident. Now, you know, now I'm going to have to comp- <sighs> What happened? Why you hang up on me? Why you hang up on me? I don't know what happened. I was here, and I, no one picked up the phone. Someone hung up the phone. Why are you hang up the phone? Hello? I'm sorry, I'm unable to take your call right now. All right, try them again. We are one hour into the Madhouse Radio Show, one of a planned four, at least three. But if it ends up, you know, dragging, I'm going to cut it at three. I ain't doing no four hours. I ain't doing no four-hour shit show. Hello? Hey, buddy, I hung up on the wrong one. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, got wrong. <laughs> I got cut off. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> my bad, my That's bad. Not- we got a oh, caller. Thanks for calling me back. Let me get this caller. You call figured it out. Yeah. It didn't take you long. Oh, dude. I started from the beginning. I knew the second I did it, I I'm knew I was doing it. Hit, man. I knew the second I did it, I said, ah, shit, I'm in trouble. I was telling everyone you I was going to. You were 40 gonna... minutes late for your bong hit, man. Uh, I've, been, your friend got some I've been smoking. My... No, I've got I've got a bowl. We get flour out here now, medical flour. Well, dry God, flour, you kick yeah. your You ain't even telling your brother not. Oh, you get uh, and thanks for holding. I'm Carlito, the host of the show. How can I help you? How can I help you? Hey, Carlito, how's it going? This is uh, Nan. I'm with Dialer. How's it going, uh, Milkman? Your Nan with Dialer? Oh, oh, hey, hey, oh, hey, wait. Oh, You've got hey, a really you bad echo. Yeah, you got to put headphones on, turn down your radio. Turn down your radio. No radio on. I got Wi Fi calling. I'll hang up if anything's bad. I'm I just hear myself. Yeah. I just hear myself. It's bad. I just want to give you guys a quick shout out. I love you guys. All right, thanks for the shout out. Uh, thanks Try for to call back. Out. All right, Try I can hear myself. Back. I'm starting yeah, in. Really yeah, fucking yeah, balls, yeah, fucking yeah, balls, balls are swelling up. Fucking balls are swelling up. <laughs> like, uh, now I hung up on Milkman and accident again. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Nana from Dialer? I mean, like a friend of Dialer's? I don't know. Uh, the Dialer's cool people. Guys, I, I really hope Dialer brings the pranks back. I was talking to him this week. You seem to be a little bummed out. Like, that. come on, man. You're a funny dude. Like, fucking dialer shows when he when he used to be driving around his car on his way to work. <laughs> doing prank calls and shit. And he had his Android phone reading the chat back to him and all that wow. shit. Yeah, dude. I had I did it again. I'm a stupid. All right? It's I my fault. Dumped. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a stupid dumped. asshole. Uh, so, but, I got you back, man. Thank yeah. you. Sorry. That's twice now. Everyone, remember, 405-396-6884 is the number to dial if you'd like to be on the line. I try to get you guys in as best as I can in between the calls. Here's another caller. Let's see if we can get a good caller this time. Thank you for calling. This is, I'm on the baby. Huh? Yeah, they don't know what they're doing over there. They're doing it right, doing it wrong. You like hot dogs? Yeah, I love hot dogs. Yeah. What I call yeah. Is this a recording? I like hot dogs. Man, I don't know. I don't like hot dogs. For, there's no bagel sandwiches. I'll eat hot dogs all day long. All day long, man. Hot dog, hot dog is the hot dog. Okay. You tell me, is you a director for a, a, a... Is that a recording? Yeah, it sounds like somebody playing a soundboard or some shit. Hey, hey, call, are you on the line? They hung up. What, hey, I, buddy. That wasn't that funny, yeah. bro. All right, whatever, man. Cool. Uh, the, all right, no more calls for a little bit because you people are stupid. Yeah. The callers, the people are stupid that listen to the show, and their callers are st- even more stupid. Uh, we're going to call a place for horse boarding instead. We're going to do some real fun hey, You shit. never answered my question, did, did you? What you're saying? Oh, uh, OG Kush. You should be familiar with that out there on the West Coast. OG Kush. OG Kush. Ah, yeah, I got man. Cadillac Purple, man. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, man. Diamond Turf Sauce. 
Diamond terpene sauce. Sauce. Sure would be nice if people could call in, but since you're all stupid, the people are calling stupid. I'll take calls in a little bit. Give me a second. Let me calm down. Let me calm down. Speak up, you stupid voicemail bitch. God damn, right, Milkman? Fucking people with voicemail. <laughs> you know, that reminds me of, and I've mentioned this before, Milkman, I'm a big fan of these movies. Are you a fan of the Police Academy series, brother? Oh, dude, I love the first few were the best, dude. That's yes. like the first two or three. Yeah. Five and six, are, I think, were great, too. But, dude, the first couple of them were great. One with the high tower and the, what was the big bit what was the bit with the woman the, the woman the blonde hair woman and a whole bunch of them. uh callahan they were great yeah yeah callahan, callahan. yeah and a whole bunch of them yeah. they were a fucking good show yeah really well was. what I, what i'm getting at is uh hooks you remember hooks she was the black lady who's like hey, remember that that's what that, that's what that voice feels like hey, you remember every movie hooks was always like hey until the very end of the movie, until the very end, and she'd have the gun and be like, "Freeze, motherfucker, dirt bag." She always freeze dirt bag. She always save everyone at the end with that dirt bag. She saved her energy the entire movie for. Oh, yeah, and then Jones with the noises, Watermouth Jones. Oh yeah. Uh huh. The guy that does the hand the hand mic. Yeah, he does the Jimi Hendrix impersonation. Um, that way, yeah, that guy. Yeah. Yep. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hi, yeah, yeah. We need to dispatch that. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's that'll be a fun voicemail for her. So no horse boarding. I had good plans for that. I had good big plans for that, I should say. We got a pet hotel instead. Pet hotel, motherfucker. Pet hotel. So Milkman, really, you're not you're gonna you're taking away my dream of being a, a stand up comedian, man. What am I gonna do? You is. Go ahead and do it, brother. I I'm not telling you not to do but it. But I want to do the show. I want to do the show, too. You know do the show, dude. I, if I can... If I can I'm not want to do the there. show without Milkman. Hi, Hooks. Uh, I'm calling about the Pet Hotel. Hello? Yeah, hi. Pet Hotel? Hi, I can't... I can, you're breaking up. I can hear you. What was that? Pet Hotel. Pet Hotel. Yes, this is, this is the Pet Hotel. Okay, good. How can I help good. you? Yeah, um, I... Just, you know, looking to... To come in, you know. Uh, what were you looking for? I'm looking to film some animals breeding. Uh, we don't do breeding here. But you know, every once in a while they sneak it in. Or do you have uh, a do you have a strict spay and neuter policy there? No, we we don't really require your animal to be spayed or neutered. Oh, so they're getting it in left and right. You can't keep keep a hold of them. You know, keep an eye on them the whole time? No, but we do keep track of who is fixed and who isn't. And you segregate them that way? No. It's just we usually tend to, like, separate the females with the males. And, you know, when there's, we just keep track of – we have it on record of who is fixed and who isn't. Yeah, but what if you have a bitch in heat? Then we keep her isolated. All right, because I was dealing with this one bitch that we had. This uh, She was a uh, – bitch and she was in heat and she was uh you know arousing my dog akulo and my other dog homer they were fighting each other over because they wanted to impregnate the bitch you know okay <laughs> so i thought what i'd want to do is just you know record some uh nice sexy girl dogs masturbating and kissing each other like lesbianism and let them watch that while i'm out <laughs> yeah, great. I probably could have done better at that. Oh, oh my. Bitch. Uh, oh, my. Dog bitches, motherfucker. Welcome to Madhouse Radio, where we're talking about 
uh, you know, perverted stuff with animals tonight. <laughs> what was that word? Machine gun? <laughs> Machine gun? Yeah. I can't remember the I word. I forget, yeah. Oh, wait, wait. The word. Yeah. <laughs> the word. What the fuck was the word? Mushroom. I don't know. Uh, mushroom. Yeah. Mushroom. Mushroom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let's call. Uh, we're calling. I love you, mushroom. We're about to call uh, as the corporate office here. Shout out to Mr. Brad Carter. Uh, the line is open if you'd like to call and join us. 405 396 6884. I promise I will answer. Here's someone calling it right now. Cool. Hello. Hello. Thank you for, thank you thank you for today calling. I was quiet. Oh. Uh, my manager, Osman, but him and his wife will be Yeah, here. nobody on there is recording again. Uh, another fucking recording of fucking bullshit. Five below. Calling five below. Right, yeah. Moving right along. Somebody I'll call. Five below is the place that we hey, found. What about those during... time expired numbers of uh, time? Say what? Time expired numbers for Parkman. Expired numbers for Parkman? I'm calling Parkman. Time numbers expired. No. I thought you said they ran out of time. Oh, the, I already went through those. I'm still good. We're still oh, good. Yeah. I, I'm okay. looking all at right. 831 right, right now. Right. We're good, yeah. All right. All right. Just, just keep me on track, brother. Gonna answer? Mm-mm. I too late on that one. Give it a few more rings. A ring a dinger. A ring a dinger. A turn a ring. All right, I give up. I give up. If I can f- get my fat Sorry. fingers over here. We got a the voicemail. Someone left time, here. Man. Someone left a voicemail. Uh-oh. Let's play it. History behind uh, that sound drop that you played goes something like, uh, uh, hey, uh, just got call these young blood lords, Black Panthers out there, uh, gonna bring a gun for everybody in the yard. Well, what's that from exactly? Uh, I tried searching Google, couldn't find it. Just uh, let me know. All right, talk to you later. Thanks, Carly. Peace. Uh, that is from the movie Against the Wall, I believe it's called. Starring Sam Jackson, a young Sam Jackson. I think, I don't think it was like a theatrical release. I think the first time I saw that was like on Cinemax or Showtime or HBO back in the day. It was like a made for TV movie, but premium TV. It was about the Attica riots, uh, the prison riots in Attica. Milkman, you, were you old enough? Uh, were you old enough uh, to, oh, that's fucked up. You, are you old enough to remember that? The Attica riots? When that happened? Yeah, was it, was it fucked up, dude. You know what they did, man? They fucking Rockefeller brought machine guns in, fucking blasted them, motherfucker. Even the guards, too, dude, dude. They blasted Damn. the fuck out of them. Like, yeah, because, yeah, off. yeah, guards and prisoners all get fucking whacked in that whole. They blast every fucking body, yeah. dude. They ain't having none of that shit. Rockefeller, remember that thing, boy. I had to never forget that. Yeah, Jay Z was That's out cruelly, there. It was dude. Like Rockefeller that motherfucker invasion. didn't give a shit. Man. Yeah, he, he came out. He, he would like, he had this sign where he put his hands up like it was a diamond. And he put it up really high, and, and then all these other people will put him up, too. And he's like, Rockefeller. Never forget, that was a Rockefeller right there, <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, man. Yeah, and then Kanye West joined them up, joined, and then he got kicked out because he's a fucking... Anyone who likes Kanye West, like, dude, if, any, if Kanye West hasn't done anything uh, po- anything of value, hip-hop or otherwise, since My Dark, Beautiful, Twisted Fantasy, was that the name of the album in 2011? It's just been shit You're ever since. My name's then. Drake. What's that? Drake? Yeah, no, Drake. Yeah, yeah. Drizzy. Drizzy. Yeah, what's up? What's up with Drake? I don't know. Is that any good? I, 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 <laughs> I heard. I have never heard of. It's a good band. You should check out that band, Drake. Yeah, they're a good band, man. Yeah, you like them. You like them. Sure, sure. He's a he's a rapper from Toronto, if I if I'm correct, from Canada. He's a Canadian uh, black. He's a, uh, he's a, he's a black, a black Canadian. 
and he was what a, about Little Wayne? What, what's the story on that one? A lot of people think that Little Wayne is the best rapper alive. Uh, I don't think so, but okay. he's talented. He's from New Orleans, I believe. I got this perspective from some young kids. So I'm just asking. I don't uh, know much it, it's 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 very mainstream. That was today's said were great. It's That's main. It, they're impression. they're all right. They're all right. It's just mainstream shit. You know what I mean? It's not what I my. I like the old school shit and like the more underground shit that's out now. Like right now, I'm listening to Beastie Boys here and some old school shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, Milkman. Yeah, but good for you for opening your horizons. I can't hear none of that music or anything, dude. Is that well, uh, we know. We can't. We know. You know the situation here, Milkman. I, oh, I've, it's still not working. All right. No, all right. I, I, wanted, I, I want to make it work. work. I will, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Okay. Let's see if oh, there's okay. someone I else. That was it. Thanks for calling. This is Carlito. How can I help you? Hey, what's up, man? Hey, man. How you doing? Hey, man. Hey, this man. is Ian. What's up? Uh, what's up, Ian? Ian or Ethan? Ian. Ian. All right. How you been? Yeah. 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 Big yeah. Ian. Yeah. 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 Big Ian. Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 So, what do you got to say there? How you? How's your last two weeks been? You didn't check in with us last week. I was kind of let down about that, Ian. Yeah, I tried to get on, but I couldn't. The busy. lines are really hard to get on. They are. It's busy. Say. It's yeah. I can only take yeah. one at a time because it's if I take more than one call, it's just chaos. You see, there's people trying to play fucking Macron in the middle of my show and shit. Like, come on, man. Oh, man. Let's be real. Come on, man. Yeah. Don't do that. It's true. That. Yeah, that's how things get taken away from the people, from the bad people. Uh, well, I hope but, this gets to stay. Yeah, uh, battling cage, bat, batting, battling, batting cage center, and they answered last Friday at eight thirty. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. What you going to tell him? Uh, uh, it's going way too fast. Uh, like, no, I want the balls to hit me. I want the balls to hit me oh. in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> I want to boil potatoes and cover them in Vaseline. <laughs> That's a jerky boy's prank call. That was a tennis machine, I think. The doctor did that. Too. Hello. Hello, yes. You have a batting cage center? Uh, yes, we do. Okay. Can Do you provide the balls, or can I bring my own? Uh, we are... Uh, Stupid. My cage is under relocation, but starting next week... Here we go. Uh, we'll be using another cage that we can uh, rent time out on. Oh, yeah. What kind of balls you can put in there? Uh, well, we, I'll be able to throw batting practice. I don't, I don't know if more, the machine will be usable just yet. I have to negotiate that out with them. Uh, well, I, I'm planning on boiling a crate of potatoes, uh, and covering them in Vaseline. Are you, can, I mean, are you okay handling those or? Uh, that sounds pretty messy, sir. I know that's why I'm, I'm calling to make arrangements first. I don't want to put you out none. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I we I, I can clean up. I can pay extra. We don't smoke cigarettes or anything there. You know, we don't do anything bad. We're no, good people. I got some baseballs. I got some baseballs you can use, sir. I don't know about potatoes. boiling any any potatoes or gasoline or well, anything we... like that. No, that's like an issue. All right. I I also have a mannequin leg that I bat with. I don't like to use a actual bat. Is that a problem? Uh, I, I have a tree trunk you can borrow. No, I just I have a ma- actual. It's my lucky mannequin's leg. Mhm. No, no, this tree trunk. Uh, it's shaved out just right. You know, got a handle on it. Everything. I don't care. Uh, I, don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, that sounds like a win. Okay. Uh, can you answer the question? And what is that? The tree trunk? Do, do I the no? Leg? No, I told you I don't care about the tree trunk. What I'm saying is I don't want to use a bat. I want to use a fake leg. Well, that that would be on you, sir. As long as you sign the waiver, I think we'll be fine. Okay. All right. So what if it wasn't so much a mannequin's leg and it was a prosthetic leg from your mama? Well, then I'd have to beat your ass. And so. And you then know, you'd try to be that. all tough on the phone like I know some other people are, but you won't do shit in person. Yeah. All right. Yeah, well, All right, yeah. You? you'll be eating Vaseline potatoes is what will happen. You keep talking to me like that. 
When is you going to be there okay. next week? You said you're going to be ready. Yeah, I'll be ready. I'll be ready today, though. I'm well, ready right well, now. Well, all right. I hope you can develop a taste for Vaseline. If you're ready, you better pretend it's butter. Yeah. You, right. you know, you, you talk about somebody's mama, and you don't even know them. Your mama. It's a problem. Your mama. And I didn't say someone. I said your mm-hmm. mama, your stupid mama with a fake leg. I hit her in the head with it before mm-hmm. I stole it from her, you know? Okay. All right. Okay. Where do you want to meet? Walmart? Yeah. Hopefully, 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 I can see you one day real soon. All right, we'll meet uh, at Walmart. We'll meet at Walmart if you want to be a tough guy. Mm-hmm. Or are you wow. going to be busy with your mammy? Yeah, well, whoever this is, you don't know me, and you don't really want to know me. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care how intimidating you think. Yeah, I don't really want. He got me. Got me. Got them as they say as the kids say all right ian are you there bro yeah man i'm here what's up uh nothing just make sure you're there make sure you're there homie all right thank you thank you uh do you want to do a prank or are you just chilling yeah i can do a prank um i've got a (laughs) an infomercial for something called the so clean cpap i guess it's the cpap machine you know milkman Mm -hmm. has a cpap machine dude those are nice as fuck dude yeah i'll put my dick in it another noise those things man yeah I got a new one. Oh man, it's a Philips Sonicare. No, that's a that's a toothbrush brand. It's a Philips. <laughs> you get the quiet lines. Here? It's no, it's you get the it's, heated line like I told you. It's a Philips. What is it called, Milkman? The Conline? The PlayStation. The play. PlayStation. It's something station. Dream station. That's what it is. Philips Dream station. Yeah. The Dream yeah. yeah. It's got memory foam mask, man. It's got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Yeah, I turned it on, and, and, and people were trying to hack it. No, they weren't. No one would do that. Who wants to know how Carlito sleeps? Thank you for calling so Take the oil off your face. And only automated CPAP I bought it, and, and it gave me pimples, milk, man. representative will be with you shortly. Which one? The one you said, the guy Thank got on Amazon. Calling. I bought All a big bottle of soap. For quality assurance. Yeah, the soap. Yeah, the soap. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it gave me a big pimple. You know, you, you know what the pimple looked like? I don't know. Did you wash it off real good? Or did you like leave it on or something? The pimple looked like your mama. Got him. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you're full of shit. You didn't even try. I didn't try. I didn't try. I didn't, didn't try. try. I didn't try. I didn't try. Ian, this is you, you CPAP machine. Make it funny. You know what a CPAP is? Hi. Yep. Yeah. Hello, uh, ma'am. Hi. Um, thank you for using the soap. Um, do you already have a CPAP machine, right? Uh, no. I got, I have to have one now. Just okay, the, well, uh, you, you call up the, call, the place, the place in order to clean it. This is this to is clean CPAP. the CPAP? This, yeah, this I the, know. I'm, yeah, I need to get mine serviced. You need to get it cleaned? Serviced, yeah. Clean. We don't service CPAP machines. Service the tubing, make it go, make it all nice and clean and sparkly, you know, clean. Service. So you want to purchase the CPAP machine? Yes, ma'am. No, tell me what you're trying to purchase. I'm trying to purchase the machine, the CPAP machine. Machine to make me breathe at night so I don't die. Okay, yeah, this yeah. isn't it. You need to order this. This this is the cleaner. This is the cleaning? You, this, we don't have CPAP machine cleaned here. You're cleaning. We don't have CPAP machine. Now, ma'am, I need to ask you a question, though. How do you clean the machine? You just put your mask. You don't have to clean this machine. It's all oxygen. You can clean your CPAP machine. Do you clean it, ma'am? You clean it with your... I, I'm sorry. I played a loud fart, and I ruined it, man. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm just that wondering. Yeah. Hey, look, uh, I got to let you go, in because I have an emergency here, okay? okay? I got to go. Thanks for being on, brother, man. Right. Well, we'll talk, we'll catch that. you next hey. week. Thanks, brother. Yep. Yeah, good call. I'm yeah, sorry man. I ruined it, man. That's my bad. I, I fuck, yeah, see you, man. You're good, man. Yeah, bye. Don't give me any mercy. Guy, Milkman, if I don't pee, it's going to be bad. It's going to be real bad, Milkman. It's going to be real Get your drug and hurry, man. All right, listen. Hey, Play my song. Do that stuff. No, we're gonna, yeah, Play my here song. we go. Yeah. You liar! You ain't playing. God, why'd you tell that guy that? You know, right back, you folks. Were listen to get Michelle. Me in trouble and stuff. That's not cool. Who is this? It's Eddie. 
A. Yeah. Eddie, up? I called that number you gave me, and it it's like a has a girl and a message on it. You sound weird. It came. It popped up once and left. You didn't let it ring long enough. What's your real number then? That's the number you called it. It rang here for like a half second and and then hung up. Well, you scared me. You you scared the shit out of me. I don't always really need you to scare the shit out of me. I already know what pornos or sex are. There's entertainment business. I kind of have, like, a background in entertainment business. I'm not a hoe or a whore. Are you a fluffer? And No. Oh. <laughs> I used to be scared I was a slut. And a guy was like, no, Michelle, you're not like a slut. Yeah. Look what? what we did. And I don't even know. And I'm single and I'm by myself. And it's okay. What do you mean, wait a minute, why did they think you were a slut? Because you had a lot of sex? No. no I'm not going to say anything else to you if you're going to scare me. You, <laughs> you, you're like just scaring me. You did a lot of blowjobs? No. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. No, I didn't. Shut up. <laughs> I'm doing Why it. did you call me? I'm masturbating right now. Go jerk off to somebody else. Oh, yeah, no. It feels good. Keep talking. You're so hot when you're angry. You know, I think I told you that earlier. You're really hot when you're angry, honey, baby. No, I'm not. And you scare me. You make me sick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You sound like a, like a valley girl, like totally stuck up. You scare me. You make me sick. <laughs> I was just kidding. Um, I am. I am living in the valley. I was born in LA, like Hollywood, though, like Hollywood proper. Oh my god. And I know a lot of Mexicans and shit, and I know a lot of Asians and black people too. I even um, totally white. I don't care. I don't care if they're black. All right, all right. We're back, Carlito Milkman. I did not wash my hands, as you all can probably tell, because I came back so fast. That was an old one there. Yeah, that was. That's Michelle. We got a caller on the air. Caller on the line. Please be nice. Please don't be an enemy of the state. Hello. Macron's show is so much better. You uh, no. Please. No. No. You. Your no. No. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Those Macron people got on. Those Macrons. All right, moving right along back to the Parkman numbers. Uh, you could take that line if you want 405-396-6884 that's 405-396-6884 saw dialer talking that he wanted to be on dialer yeah you could be on you can call the line and be on dialer hit Thank me up on uh on facebook if it's really you give me a number i can call you at i'll get you right through you don't have to worry about the plebeians Getting in your way. Hello? Thank you for calling. Huh. All calls are recorded for quality assurance. You don't have to get, you don't have to so sit there and wait through the dirty fucking listeners of the show. Thank you for choosing So Clean. My name is Debbie. So that I can better serve you, may I ask who I'm speaking with? My name is Orion. Okay. And how do you spell that? Uh, Ryan with an A at the beginning, A R Y A N. Oh, okay. And how are you doing today? Uh, I'm not getting good sleep because the CPAP machine is dirty. It's filthy dirty. Oh, okay. How are you currently cleaning it? Well, I hired you people to come over here and clean it, and you were that you were supposed to be here for an initial consult last week to come clean the CPAP, and no one ever showed up, and I have been waiting every day. I get home and I left the code, the gate code, and I left the entry code to the to the keyless entry, the security system, so you could get in. And you people are supposed to come and uh, hose okay. down. You're supposed to put armor all on the seats, and you're supposed to check the oil in the CPAP machine, and fill the fluids, the all water. Right. So this is the, the the place that you bought the CPAP that you're talking about. You people, so clean, so clean CPAP. 
Well, the so clean is not the CPAP itself. It's a, it's a cleaning machine. I know you clean the, the machine. CPAP. Very good, honey. Very good. Well, I, I I'm sorry, but this is the order line. Is is this something that you talk to customer service about? Because I well, I I call so clean. Uh, you people okay. said you were going to clean my CPAP. You were going to send some people, right. cleaners, to come to my house to clean the CPAP. No one ever comes. Right. Do you understand right, well, now with your disability? No, I understand. I understand what you're saying, sir. Because I know you have a disability. Line. You have a few, I think. Excuse me? I know that you have a disability, I can tell. And I think it's good that they let you with disability still have job and um, work. I think, I think that you need to stop being so rude or I am going to hang up because I don't need this. Okay? Well, I'm not saying a bad thing about your disability. I'm saying it's good. that I do not have a disability, and I don't appreciate you right, that. Right, right, right. Okay. Sure. All right. I can get you over to customer service if you would like. This Are they there? I don't want to be leaving voicemails. This isn't a voicemail show. Again, this is the order line. It is not oh. customer service. I can transfer you over to them if you would like. All right. She, the okay, disabled, there's a disabled woman answering. She's going to transfer me. Go, go ahead. Thank you, honey. Do you know how to do it? Do you know the buttons to push? <laughs> she just hung up. She just hung up. She did not like being said that she has a disability, milkman. And that could be taken so many ways, right, sir? Uh -uh 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 -uh. Milkman, where are you? You're quiet. Don't make me angry. Okay. Loser? Yeah, we lost her, buddy. Thank you for calling SoClean, the world's first and only automated CPAP cleaner and sanitizer. A representative will be with you shortly. This call may be recorded to ensure quality service. Thank you for choosing SoClean. My name is Tina. I'll be helping you. Today. Oh, Can not you. you. Name, please? Uh, how old are you? Uh, 51. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow, I've never had anybody say that to me. Yeah, but I know you don't know things well because of your disability. <laughs> Why am I dis... I don't have a disability. You're 51. You're a woman. Why is... And your point? You're an old woman. That's your disability. You know what? You're a jackass. Bye. You're dirty also. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like Gina. <laughs> she Thank you for calling. Damn. Uh, Black to the ass. Only Gina. Oh, okay, uh, honey, baby. A representative will be with you shortly. We didn't see that one coming there. <laughs> <laughs> this call will be sassy. recorded to ensure quality service. Recorded? Ooh. You're, you're a jack. That's it. Hello. Thank you for choosing So Clean. My name is Olan. So that I can better serve you, may I ask who I'm speaking with? Okay, honey baby. Honey baby? Yes. Honey, how are you doing tonight? Uh, good. It's uh, I, I've called twice now. Do you know who Trina is or Tina, the woman, the old 51-year-old woman? Does she work here? Yeah. Um, give me one second. Can you transfer me to her? She, we're in the middle of an order. I'm trying to look her up and see. Trina, Tina. Okay, I, th I see a Tina. Yep, that's I her. I can't transfer you, but I can tell, I can message you to call her back. I mean, I can send her well, why a message can't you to call me? you back. Why? We don't have that option. Do you have a button that says transfer? We don't have that option, sir. Shit. Man, I fucked your dick, man. All right, I guess I can deal with you. Hello? Mm -hmm. Yeah, despite your disability, I guess I can work with you. All right, so... 
I was supposed to have someone come here to clean the CPAP machine. Your people, again, for the third day straight, missed an appointment and didn't send the people, the team, over to clean the CPAP machine. There's a lot of scaling on it. It smells like mildew. I was promised that you were going to come here. You're going to check all the fluids. You're going to clean all the glass on the CPAP machine. You were going to install a new fuel filter in it. I had a whole bunch of things, and I wanted to get the tires balanced on it also, and no one came. You might have the wrong number. CPAP, so clean CPAP. So clean is a machine. We are not a bunch of CPAP cleaners. So we don't send out people to clean your CPAP. We sell CPAP cleaner machines. Okay, well, I like to throw the word machine out myself a lot, like you are. I invented that. I'm the person who started that, okay? So I know that when you're saying that you you have a bunch of your uh, your CPAP machines, you're, I know you're just cleaning machines. You're just saying, like, cleaning people. The group of people that comes to clean the machine. Machine. Have a good night. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bite you. Fuck him. Call again. I want another lady. I want another woman. Another woman. Milk man. Milk woman. I'll take a milk woman. <laughs> I want, that guy was a fucking buddy. We man. have a caller. Gina was. We have an Gina enemy cool. hostile Jack caller. Ass, Hello, enemy hostile caller. I'm Carlito. Go ahead. Uh, oh shit! Did I get through? Hello. Yes. Hello. Hi, this is Dragon Man. This is Dragon. I'm not hostile. Oh, good. Thanks for being a friend. How you doing, Dragon Bar? Dragon Bar. I'm doing great. Good. We're doing prank calls about CPAP it? machines. Dragon Mir. Dragon Mir. Who's the caller? Dragon Mir. Dragon. Mir. Right. Dragon Mir. Dragon Mir. Hey, what's up, Milkman? It's great to talk to you. Yeah. Hey, brother. Oh, yeah. You see, Milkman, I told you everyone knows you and fucking loves your ass. They love you more than they love me. You're like, no, no one likes me. No one knows me anymore. Everybody they, loves you. They, they just, just know Dwight. They the just know Dwight. The only automated CPAP cleaner and sanitizer. I love you, Carly. Will be with everybody loves you, brother. You the man. Thank you for calling. All calls are recorded. You want to do the call or you want to just chill? You tell me now, Dragon Mer. Let's go. Introducing uh, I can, I can try. All right, solution. CPAP machine. I know you got one of them, you old man. It's late. You're tired. And you just want to go to sleep. But you haven't cleaned your CPAP equipment in days, maybe even weeks. Once again, you go to sleep. Man, I clean my you CPAP thing in the fucking dishwasher be. once a You're week. You're not going to get a good night's sleep. And, and then I fill up the hose with the some Listerine and I shake it up. And pays the price as well. <laughs> That's how I clean my shit. As as you. I think I'm going to buy a separate machine to clean we the machine. The machine machine. Cleaning your machine. Taking it apart. Cleaning the pieces. And oh, good. It's so good. I also tried the dishwasher. You can end this frustrating I do the dishwasher. With dishwasher? Really? Yeah. First, hands yeah, free. Easy to use. 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 Oh, I meant to say dishwasher, not. not <laughs> I meant to say dishwasher. I'm, I'm Puerto Rican. Oh, come on. Now we're have hold times here? That's not acceptable. I like his commercial. It's designed to keep put you asleep. You just like CPAP machines before you wait. Put a marijuana in your CPAP machine, like, oh yeah, man, this really gets your get alpha alpha waves and <laughs> uh, lucid dreams, man. I got to put marijuana in my CPAP. I got lucid dreaming there. What's that? Bottom down. You ever have milkman? Do you tell me? Hang on, let's put that on hold. Milkman, did you ever? Were you ever successful in lucid dreaming? You tried to get me into the lucid dreaming uh, fa uh, fad. Yeah, man, I, I've done it many times. So man, what do you do? Like you're, time. like you know you're dreaming and you're in control of the dream. Yeah. 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 Can you make like everyone take? Yeah, their, you their know pants you're dreaming, off? and then the shit like the. Yes. Hello. Yeah. Do you do you make the women oh, take the their? Oh, the shit that he was seeing your dream that seemed off. real to you in your dream. You're in mm -hmm. control of it. So, so can you, like, you get reshape the reality in your dream? So can you get like a real big dick and be like, "All oh, the women take their pants no, off." No, no, no. Mine's usually like a <laughs> like a usually is like a, a happy ending with somebody either. Yeah, um, after the massage. Yeah, yeah boy. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. usually something like that. Uh, this is it right here. We got recording uh, of Milkman's uh, dream. Uh, 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 
But I don't do that. I don't really dream like I don't like like even think of that shit too much anymore. So I don't know. I haven't had one in a long time. I got recording of Milkman's lucid dream. The last time I did was with the melatonin. Ah, yeah, yeah. That melatonin, man, that'll get you. You gotta be careful. You can't take that for too long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lucid dreaming here on the mouth tonight. We're talking about. uh, Oh shit, we have a caller on the line, Dragon Mur. All right. My yeah, bad. I'm still here. Uh, oh, okay. I've done some liquid dreaming myself. I quit smoking weed for a year for no reason, and I do it fucking nuts. And that helped you? Around. You were able to lucid dream after quitting the weed? Really? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I smoke, I smoke a lot of pot. And yeah, when I quit, it was just like intense dreams every night, every night. No kidding, really. And I've always been, I've always been pretty good at lucid dreaming. Oh wow! I get close, like I get close, like I'm, I'm kind of like I. I don't, it's hard to explain. Like I think I am. And then, like, something happens that wakes me up. Usually, the wife talking some fucking bullshit, like, make the coffee. Like, you fucking cunt. I was almost lucid dreaming. Like, fucking... what if you get pause, man? I'll hit pause. Like, I'll wake up. Yeah. And then I'll, like, hit pause, like, mentally. <laughs> I'll lay back down to sleep, and I'll, like, continue to dream from where I was. You hit the start button? Nice. Then I go back to sleep, but, like, so I didn't go away. If I can, like, keep it. Yeah. Oh, shit. They picked up and hung up on that fucking line. All right. All right. What a waste. Uh, Don't worry, Dragon Mara. We got more numbers we can do. If I can get my shit working here. right. Let's see. We got, uh, we got, we got, we got, well, the five below didn't answer earlier. I thought there was a helpline here. Where'd it go? Gambling addiction hotline. Here we go. The gambler's addiction hotline. Let's do it. Oh, heck. This is a concept I came up with. I call in like Sex Addicts Anonymous and all the addiction hotlines. The Overeaters one was really funny. I sat on that idea for a long time and I debuted it on uh, one of Dwight McClanahan's shows on 2016. And that was that was a lot of fun. That that was a lot of fun. Playing the slots, you gotta like do it while you call in while you're there and you keep on. I can't help like I put another penny in, you know. Struggling with a gambling addiction. If you are calling for I saw a billboard for this the other day. Do you want to be a gambling addict there, Dragon Mirror? I could take it. You tell me. Oh, man. Uh, I can give it a shot. All right, let's go. Yeah, Dragon Mirror. Hi, this is Indiana Gambling Helpline. How can I help you today? Uh, I just need someone to talk to. Okay, sure. Uh, uh, what's going on? I'm not having a good week. I'm not having a good week. I am down. Uh-huh. Because of gambling? Well, yeah, I took a gamble. I took a, it's like a, a buddy of mine told me about this investment opportunity. And he said it was a sure thing, it was a sure thing. He said it was a sure thing, and I, you know, uh-huh. took my paycheck, and I got a cash advance, and I took some money from the wife, and I went all in. I, it didn't work out, and I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to tell the wife. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry to hear about that. Um, did it just happen today? Well, it, see, the thing is, it was uh, it was you know at eBay, uh, electronic bill. You know what that is? Sorry, um, the the connection is not too good. Uh, can you say that again? I, I made I made a purchase on eBay that was supposed to be a good uh-huh. investment, but it turned out to be poor. Mm. Yeah, uh, and, I, and you are really really depressed right now. I got I got you, like a thousand bean I got like a thousand bean babies here, and I don't know what the fuck to do with them. I'm sorry. This guy told me he said that. he said get this he said get this it's a first edition bongo. It's got the um, it's got the original tag in the protector. He said that's only gonna get, he said it's gonna be worth like five times, five times what I pay. And now I got them and I'm trying to I'm trying to move them and they're not they're not worth anything, man. I got all these fucking beating baby. And um, for the past two weeks and even right now, do you have any thoughts of harming yourself? Oh, I'm about to rip up these fucking beanie babies. Those goddamn bongos said he's worth a thousand. He's not worth fucking ten dollars. Okay. So you are 
I'm feeling really depressed and hopeless right now. I'm um okay. I'm glad that you make the call and reach out to us and um see uh um so that we can talk a little bit about how I can of help to you today. Do you know anything? Do you know anything about Beanie Babies? Um, I I, I can't so. help you with that. You can't help me with the Beanie Babies. I got the Princess Diana one. I, I just I just need someone to buy it, man. I I got them all. I just no one wants them. Well, maybe you can figure out some other ways to uh, try to sell them. I will say, um, since you buy it from the internet, I guess you are really good on the internet too. Or maybe you can Google out some um, and come up with a strategy to. To help you to sell the Beanie Babies. Do you need any? Do you need any Beanie Babies? Mm. It really helped me, ma'am. I took like 300 from my wife, and she didn't know. And if you just if you just buy this Princess Diana, it's worth like a thousand dollars. And if you just get it, just like 300, and then I can at least pay my wife back, and that'll buy me some time. And I don't know what else to do. Yeah, yeah, it is a hard situation right now. What's your man? What's your PayPal? What's your Instagram or something? Let me. How do I get in touch with you? Um. I want to send you a picture what? of this. Man, I want to send you a picture of this beanie baby. It's a one of a kind. Okay. Okay. Snapchat? So um. Yeah, I will encourage you to speaking with your wife first about that. Um. She, I guess. Oh no 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 no! I can't let her know. She'll she'll hit me. She's, I got the gambling problem, but she's got a drinking problem, and she finds out about this. She's liable to hit the bottle and then get to hit me, and I, I can't have that, man. I got all these beanie babies. I don't need a black eye. Listen, just give me your Snapchat. I'm going to send you a picture of this Princess Diana limited edition, okay? Well, uh, uh, what I can help you is if you have any kind of gambling addiction, um, that I can re- refer you to any kind of resource that is available in your state. Other than that, um, other than that, um, I just need your, what sna- you I just need your Snapchat. No, 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 I took a gamble on this. I bought, I bought all these beanie babies. I thought they were going to be worth money, and they're not. And that's why I need to send you a picture of my, of my uh, beanie babies and things. Ma'am, ma'am. Mm-hmm. I'm listening. Can you help me? Hello, ma'am. Can you help me here? Ma'am, ma'am, you there? Hi. Are you listening Hi. still? Hi. Listen, listen, I'm I'm his uncle, and uh, can you pick a number between one and ten? Oh no, I I cannot do that. Um, this is out of the survey, the scope of my service. No, just pick up a pick a number between one and ten. No, I I can't do I that. Um. Are you uh, what what what, what time is it? What time is it? What time? What's what time is it? Um, it depends on where you are. Well, where you say. are? Where you are? What hour is it right now? Is it eight, seven, six? Um, do you guys need any uh kind of resource related to a problem gambling? Okay. okay. Is there a phone number we can call? Uh, for yeah. What kind of uh service are you looking for? for gambling today? help. Gambling help. This is the line for gambling help. Um, so I can only help you to. Um, All right, for credit counseling. Credit counseling because of the gambling debt. A number, any number you give out. Come on, give me something. You got to give me a number. For problem, uh, if it's for credit, I would suggest you to Google it out. Oh, come I cannot on. help you with what that. What other numbers you have there? Whatever numbers you have. Well, I don't have any number here. <sighs> how old is she? How, how, what's her age? Yeah, yeah, all right. So how how old are you? This is, again, this is out of my service. Jesus the Christ. How many, how, many, how many eyes do you have? One or two? Um, if you are um, 
So please do call us back if you have any concern related to problem gambling, and we will be happy to assist you with that. Uh, how many buttons do you have to push Thank to hang you. up? How many buttons do you push to hang up? <laughs> Boy, to has to give me numbers. Trying to get us a wager. I think she's like, normally she would, but she's like, um, no, I'm not going to enable you. I guess they must be told not to give any numbers. <laughs> no, no, because she knows. Hang on, hang on. I got an idea. I got an idea. I got Drag, uh, the, the, who's on the line? I'm sorry, dude. I'm real hot. Who's uh, yeah, Dragon Man. Dragon Man. Dragon Man. Hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on. If you are calling for information about casinos, hotel reservations, directions, promotions, or information about the lottery, please hang up and dial 911. Information at 411. Shut up, Homer. To speak to a counselor in English, please press 1. Uh. Dogs barking. Homer's nephew. It's like a little Homer mini me. He's spending the weekend with us, and he's cute. So. Hello. Indiana. Problem gambling. This is Kelly. How can I help you? Kelly. That's a girl's name. It is a unisexual name. Oh. Okay, honey, baby. All right. So, um, let me see here. Uh, what time is it there where you are? Uh, it's the same time it is where you are. No, it's, it's almost 8 o'clock. It's about 10 minutes to 8. So the first number is 8? What can I do for you today, sir? All right, got it. Hang on, hang on. Dragon, uh, pick a number between 1 and 10. 8's already taken. Uh, it's on 6. Nope, this you're is, wrong. Um, the number's 9. Uh, you went, sir. Line for people who you, want to you do, do. Sir, you won. The number's yeah, 9. Well. Goodbye, sir. Congratulations. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Fucking enabler. <laughs> that was. I'm going to try that again. You have reached the Indiana Problem Gambling. <laughs> Got him. This line is for gamblers and concerned mother. <laughs> uh, I'm watching the YouTube chat at the moment. If you guys can let me know, is the uh, audio level okay tonight on YouTube? Please let me know. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi. This is problem game. This is problem gambling helpline. How can I help you? Yes. What time is it there where you are? Just out of curiosity. Seven fifty. All right. Seven. All right. You got seven. Uh, Dragon Mirror, uh, can you please choose a number between one and ten? And seven is already taken. Let's go low. Let's go with a two. Nah, uh, bad choice, my friend. The uh, actual answer is six. Did you six. have a gambling issue or not? Well, you just won, ma'am. You chose the closest. The number was six that I had in my head. Oh, <laughs> uh, I wonder if they're all recovering gamblers. So they're all like, no. <laughs> she was going quick. She folded quick. Yeah. Uh, all right, Dragon Bear, I'm going to let you go to clear up the line. Phone. All right, brother? Well, thanks for being on. That hey, was thanks fun. Thanks for having me on. My gambling buddy, thanks you. Thanks for calling right. brother. Peace out. Welcome to the Madhouse. I think that was your first time, so. Yeah! Oh, first time. All right. uh, thank you. Thank yeah, you. Bye. Asshole. asshole. All right. All right. Asshole's gone. No, Dragon Bear's gone. Thanks for joining, buddy. You can join. You can take his line at 405 405-396-6884. 405-396-6884. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to call myself. I'm going to be in the casino this time. I don't care. So if you're calling right now, you might just want to hang up and chill out till I do this call. When you hear this call finish, the Indiana we're going to play some prank calls. Uh, we're going to play some voicemails, rather. And, and then we take calls. And then we take a break. No, fuck that. We're almost on break time. Sure. For information about casinos, hotel reservations, directions, Promotions what do I have? One? Yeah, if you want to call, don't, uh, you know what I'm trying to say? Don't call now because you're going to get, it's going to be a short call because we're taking a break at the top of the hour, motherfucker. It's best to just chill out. I think she heard me talking. I did it again, Milkman. Sorry. I think. 
great. I think <laughs> well, that lady heard you. You have reached the Indiana Problem Gambling Hotline. I'm Lieutenant Hook. Calling from the casino. Hello? Indiana Problem Gambling. Yeah, I'm calling from the casino. You have the wrong number. This is Problem Gambling? It is. All right, well, I'm calling from the casino. I need assistance, please. Can you please help me out? I cannot. You have are, the wrong number. Are you the guy that gave me that shitty bet on number seven? I need leads. All right, let's, let's let that rest for a while. Milkman, remind me. All right, uh, Echo. Set a 42-minute, 16-second timer called Casino Calls. I was going to just say, boy, you read my mind. I was just going to say, we ought to call them back. I think they're getting a little bit wore out. <laughs> okay. All right. Did it really? Uh, Echo, what's what timer? How much time left? Echo, everyone, thank Echo. Keep uh, keep in mind, you can if you have an a Amazon Alexa device, you can say Alexa, play Madhouse Prank Call Radio, and she will do it, or he, because like Kelly just really? a second ago, oh yeah, you can hear our shoutcast feed right on your Alexa device. You know, say your keyword, uh, play Madhouse Prank Call Radio. If you want to hear the podcast, you can say Alexa, play Madhouse Prank Call Podcast. And you get the latest episode of our podcast. But if you just say play Madhouse Prank Call Radio, you get the uh, Shoutcast Station. You could be listening to us right now, motherfucker. All these oh. options are at MadhouseLive.com. So get your ass over there, motherfucker. Use. All right. So how about we just take the break now, Milkman, so we get a good, nice, beefy two hours. You know what I mean, brother man? All right, man. How about we get well, I think, yeah, we're off to a good start, it seems yeah. like. Yeah, well, no, 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 all right. Uh, let's try what let's try another casino machine call. You have reached the Indiana Problem Gambling Helpline. This line is for gamblers and concerned others struggling with a gambling addiction. If you are calling for information about casino, call reservation. Uh. I think every state has a gambling help on it. I have a feeling there's not very many operators in that little hotline center. Well, I don't think Indiana's Indiana. Indiana problem gambling helplines. James, I can help you. Hey, James, uh, I need help, brother. I'm here at the casino right now, and I'm having, I'm relapsing. I'm having a really hard time, and I'm I'm in the hole right now. I'm behind, and I. I need either hit really big right now and come out of this or my wife's going to kill me. Looks like she's probably going to kill you then. Well, what do I do? They gave me this they gave me this card. They said call this card. The 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 bouncer guy in the suit came to me. He said call this line and get help, buddy. Really? Why would they do that? I guess he said he said he had a response they had a responsibility to give this information out. If they saw that I was a problem okay. gambler. Yeah, well, you should probably leave the casino then. All right, is that all you're here for? Just to tell me to leave the casino? You don't offer any other help? I mean, you, you clearly don't want the help. You're at the casino. You're talking about trying to hit big. Well, uh, I'm trying know. to not to. I'm trying. I, I can't. You know, like, I either I, I got one last chance at this, you know? One last chance at what? At making all your... Uh, Basically, double or nothing. If I lose all of this, that's it. It's over. I'm gonna lose the wife, the kids, everything. So then, are you gonna stop? Well, yeah, but man, they, they hear the the sound, like the, all the all the cool all sounds right. and stuff, and like there's no windows right, well, in here. For people who want to stop, so I do. I'm just stop. looking for a that's reason. Serious. I am. I am. I'm serious. Uh -huh. All right, can you just all right if. 
All right. If uh, can you give me like a number between one and eight? No, I'm gonna let you go. Okay, just give me a number through one to eight. <laughs> give me a sign, man. You gotta give me a. You gotta give, you gotta give me some help. They will not. Do, they do. They're told <laughs> not to deal with numbers, dude. That's it. They're they told. I know. Wow. Yeah. But oh, uh, that's it. He hung yeah. right up then. <laughs> yeah, dude. All right. When we come that's back, we got funny. more. We got more numbers to get to. I like to try some more of those casino help call machines. Uh, we got yeah, more we'll infomercials to get to. Minutes. We got numbers from Big Ethan Maria, Ethan Marie. We got Junk My Car, restaurants to call here, a wedding chapel in Las Vegas, bro. We got tons of shit. Milkman, Milkman's gonna be here. We're gonna be taking your callers. Oh. We're gonna be playing some voicemails. We're going to have a special announcement here about the new prank war that we're starting. Yeah! Let's do it, man. We're going to war. We're going to war, motherfucker. Yeah. All right. We'll be right back in about uh, about nine, 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 eight, nine, ten minutes. We'll be right back. Look, man, uh, behave yourself. All right. Oh. Oh. You're listening to Madhouse Live, live, live. on the I'm largest the prank call station in the nation. In the nation. Prank Call Nation.
Three minutes, Milkman. YouTube, three minutes. Everyone, three minutes. Three minutes out. All right. Uh, God damn it. Uh, uh, Madhouse Radio Carlito's back from taking big shits all over the fucking competition. Amateur prank callers cannot touch this. You know, my enemies can only throw rocks at me uphill. Just saying. I don't waste my time throwing stones downhill. Uh, we got material. We don't have to worry about that shit. We just got material for fun. I have the brains. All right, let's move right into right. more prank callie calls. Moving. 
been rattling on. Oh, yeah. Everybody answer, how's it going, my brother? I'm okay, man. Okay, man. All right, Dad. Did you get your uh, nice break? Did you get your little uh, pen going there, OG Kush? I had myself some Crab Rangoon, and I started reloading the pipe, and I forgot to finish that job because I'm a stupid. Oh, okay. Well, at least you got a hit anyway. That's a good thing. Uh Uh-huh. All right. Then the prank call. Call the Notary Association machine. Thank you for holding. Your call is very important to us. To help us better assist you, please have any relevant documentation or information ready. A notary expert will be with you shortly. Good evening. Thank you for calling the notary hotline. My name is Adrian. May I please get your member number or the uh, spelling of your last name? What? Hi. Uh, uh, hi. My last name is White. First name? Orion. Orion? A R Y A N. Oh, okay. Just Ryan with an A in front of it. Okay. Yeah, and what state are you very on good. Ryan? Very good. Despite your disability, you did pretty good there. I know, right? Yeah. And what um, state do you live in? Uh, I live in Horse. What state is that? Uh, Horse. Michigan? Horse, Michigan? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Good for you. All right. Actually, I don't have an account for you, Mr. White. Yeah, I recently tra- I recently transitioned. Okay. All oh, right. Hmm. Just looking at all the A Whites in the state of Michigan, and there's not even anything close. Hmm. Did you have another name before? Uh. Nothing else you've used. I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Okay. What was your other name? Private. P R I V Ryan Orion Private. Yes. Okay, let's try that. Nope, still nothing. Um, La- uh, try labia. Wa- L A B I A. For the last name. Yeah. L A B I A. Nope, nothing. Um, customer service, which is our business office, has closed for the day. Of course Otherwise, they have. Otherwise, you can give them a call Of course they have, because every time I try to get them to do something, they go, oh, we're business hours, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you got to pay 20, 20 fucking dollars, you know. Hey, what, do you, have, anything a not- else do you have a notary stamp yourself? Yeah. All right, why don't you shove it up your ass? That's true. All right, yeah, you're right. Listen, uh, what what's that mean? You have bad audio, Milkman's, or you say that I shouldn't do that? It was going nowhere. It was going nowhere. Uh-huh. It wasn't funny. You know, uh-huh. Uh-huh. You I got too. so mad at the bank, dude. Like I had to get something notarized, and uh, I called. I've gotten stuff notarized at the bank before, so I called the bank. Mm-hmm. And to make sure mm-hmm. they still did this, and he's like, "Oh yeah." The guy's like, "Oh yeah." You know how you know how men are that work at banks. He was like, "Oh yeah, we still notarize them." I'm like, "Oh cool." It's like, "Are you sure? It's your. It's not DOT, Department of Transportation. No, no, it's not. It's for for my lawyer." He's like, "Oh all right." And then and then he said, "Um, he said, oh wait a minute, no, you can't get anything notarized here unless it's for bank business. Like really rude and flippant." And I said, oh, well, that's bullshit. <laughs> and I told him, why don't you shove your notary stamp up your ass? And he got really like, oh. <laughs> he got really, oh. That's where oh. I came from. Yeah, that's where I came from. And then, but after that, I was like, you know what? I used to work at banks, and I know that for for lesser stuff, people have had their accounts closed. Because cause the, you, people have said, like, you know, fuck you to the person on the phone. And the branch the branch manager will straight up close the account and be like, I have the right to close this account. You were blah blah blah, and too bad. Get you know we're Just gonna. For s- Adam? Yeah, yeah, I've seen that happen. I always thought that was bullshit when that happened, but yeah, they'd send them a check. Really? They send them a check for their balance, and like then your your money was all locked away for like a whole week and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> what fuckers? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. The best thing is don't cuss them out until after you get the money. <laughs> then you curse them out. Well, then you just take Thanks a, bit, for you calling take a shit on all the cars. The fastest, easiest way to sell your car. 
If the year of your vehicle is 2000 or newer, press 1. If the year of your vehicle is 1999, we will now get your call to the right place. This call is recorded to ensure an awesome experience. It was not Bank of America. It's it's a bank that actually doesn't exist anymore. Publix Bank. No, Publix Bank. Thank you for calling, Pedro. My name is Jeff. Hey, man. Hey. Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah, I have a 2017 mm -hmm. Honda Ridgeline. Okay, hold on. Hurry up. 2017 Honda Bridge Line. Machine. Do you have the tree? Machine, machine. Yes. I'm sorry? Yes, do you have the trim or the sub model of the vehicle? If it's a black. The black. Or, or the black. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Black edition. Yep. The black edition, yeah, with the leather do you seats. Have, do you have a clean title or a salvage title? Well, I lost my car in the divorce, but I still have the title and paperwork, though. So I want to junk mm -hmm. it before the wife gets here. Okay. But whose name signed on the title? Well, it's in mine, but I lost the car in the divorce. I'm supposed to turn it over, but she can't do anything about it. Mm -hmm. Can you please give me the zip code where the vehicle is located? Uh, uh, th uh, three, two, eight, oh, eight. Okay, are all the wheels mounted and tires are inflated? Yes, I s listen, do you understand what I'm saying? They're going to take the car away. You got to take it before the wife gets it, you know what I mean? The judge ordered. There's a judge order. Is that a problem? Could spoon feed this okay, motherfucker. On, God damn it. Like, how dense are you, man? What was your name again, Jose? Jeff. Okay, well, what's going on? Yes, sir, we need to ask the every details of the question. Of the every every <sighs> details of the vehicle. You're really pissing me off, man. You're really bringing me down and pissing me off. So is it okay, sir, to ask every question regarding the vehicle condition? Uh, well, I mean, is there someone without the, your disability? I mean, I think it's very brave that you have a disability and that you're trying your job, and I understand that, but is there someone else that I could talk to? Hello? Uh, no, sir. You can try calling us back again, so maybe other agents will answer. I think calls. so, because, you know, it, it sounds like I'm talking to, like, you know, Speedy Gonzalez's uh, cousin, Slowpoke? Okay, sir. All right. All right, let's just end this here. All right, bye. Fucking good damn, Milkman. What the fuck? What is up with these people, man? I'm trying good ideas. I'm trying shit. It's like well, KDK said, you when you, you you know, when you're so good that you, <laughs> you invent every idea. Milk. KDK said that once. KDK said that he was so good that he had, right in good the he had done everything to sell your car. If the year of your vehicle is 2000 or new, we will now get your call to the right place. These people are just triaging and taking info. To ensure this ain't gonna an awesome work. experience. I'll give it one more shot there, Parkmans. They might be so desperate for a job, but they're actually being nice. Thank you very much for calling, Pedro. May I have the year make a model of your vehicle? Oh, man. Not you again. Is this Jose? No, sir. Oh, okay. You sound like a Jose. I have a 2010 Ooh. Honda Ridgeline. I don't think there was a Ridgeline in 2010. Shit. Two, 2017. You know what? I'm just I'm not feeling this. I don't I don't feel right about this, sir. You okay? Okay. It's not my car. I'm trying to get you guys to junk the car. It's supposed to be my wife's car, but I hate her. Okay. Okay, sir. Hello, caller. You're on the air. Please don't be mean. Ah, uh, motherfucker baloney. <gasps> it's Dwight. Yeah, hey, Dwight oh. McConaughey. Hey. Hey, my hey. name's Straw. I'm here with Jose. Hey, what's up, Straw? And Milkman's here. Milkman, be nice to Dwight. Say hi, Dwight. He called the phone. Is that, is that really Dwight? Yeah. 
booth. I'm glad he knows Hi. the difference between Ken, between Ken and Goy. Yeah. Jose, we have hey, a car. Hey, Hi, what's happening? We Ken, have, Ken, Ken. We have a we have a car that we need to uh, have junked. Yeah, I took the tires off. We're gonna sell the tires separate. Yes, sir. Can you please give the vehicle identification number or the VIN so we can get the correct make and model of the vehicle? Uh, the identification number is blue. They're removed. Okay, sorry, I have to disconnect the call since I didn't receive any proper responses from you guys. Oh, come on. Okay, sir? Come on, man. Don't do this. Don't do this. Please. Okay, sir. Thank you very much for calling, Paddle. All right, bye. I don't like that <laughs> Improper number. Improper response. I don't like those guys. I don't like that number. What's up? What's up, Big Dwight? You doing a show tomorrow? You got a plan? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good, good. It's good to hear. Good to hear. Good to hear. Good to hear. Yeah, you... I uh, just got back from the gym machine and washing my ass in the uh, shower. Oh, just mm -hmm. the ass? So, yeah. Did you uh, use... Did, let me ask you. I'm from the corporate office. Did you use the showers facilities there? <laughs> No, I ride home stinky and smelly, and I hotbox myself in the car with the smell. Hey, you ever like to fart in the car in the seat, and then, like, f a few times? Thanks, Colin. Salsa. This is Chelsea. How may I help you? Hey, um, sometimes I like to sit in the, you know those seats that you have there? The the what? The, you know the seats that you have, the booth seats? Oh, yes. I like to, f I fart in it, like, two or three times during the dinner, and then when I get up, it's like a big fart. I can, uh, great. Let me see a call. Well, you know hey, did talking. my number pop up when I called you? Uh, no, I have incoming call already turned off. I, I like to see what oh. line people are calling from. I, uh, I've been pranking people on Facebook lately, and for some reason my caller ID, which I don't have turned on, shows I'm calling from Mexico. From Mexico? Yeah. Uh, people are like, why is Mexico calling me? Is this via Skype? Yeah. With my caller ID shut off. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know why they would go with Mexico of all places. Skype, uh, Milkman. I, I, hang on uh, there, Mr. Dwight. I got to play some voicemails here, Milkman. Usually there are messages here for you, so we're gonna go back in time. What was last week? Because I missed a whole shit ton of them last week. Was that the second or last show that we missed? I think so. Right. Let's see. Here's one. A very rude one. Carlito, sexual organs. Yeah. Pussy flaps. Yeah. Piss flaps. Yeah. I'll call you later, you right. motherfucker. All right, Answer. motherfucker. All right, God yeah. damn it. All right, yeah, yeah. Cool. All right, yeah. There we go. All right. All right. That was very nice. Very good. Mushroom. And I would like to help you with any tech problems you may have. Okay. All right. Thanks for uh, helping us, I guess. Let's see what this is not available. Uh, what's this say uh, here? Uh huh. I don't hear anything. A yellow. Oh. Sounds like Matt. Sounds like Matt to me. Uh, not available. I don't play. If the transcript is not available, I ain't playing it, guys. Hey, I was just calling to say that I'm glad you're doing podcasts again. I love the show. Um, a character that I'd like to see come back is Eddie Garcia. I love that character. Anyway, oh, thanks like for coming back. Oh, Bye. Yeah. Hi, Eddie Garcia, yo. What's this? Jager? Yeah, Eddie Garcia. Never. Jack Masterson. Jack Valente. Someone said the M word. Never. All right, good. Thanks for contributing there, caller. These are all from last week. Uh, she call, these all went to voicemail. I didn't get to ever play them. I want to talk to the owner of the company right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's another one. Mm, real new shit. All right. Okay, cool, cool. Here's a lot of uh, racist cursing, I think, in this one. Real nigga shit. Real nigga shit. All right. Thank you for that. God damn it. People okay. getting frustrated they couldn't get through. I'm sorry. Hello, front reception. This is UK Godfather. Uh, I have some numbers for you. Uh, Look at your chat, Carlito. All right, Mr. Pansexual Godfather. Uh, here's another one. Let's see. Hey, how's it going, guys? I just really want to thank you for 
you know, taking the time to uh, make prank calls. Bro, are you masturbating, leaving me this? I listen to you guys pretty much everywhere I go. To the grocery Phone store. In the oh, God. Oh, fucking jerking off right now. He's calling from the bathroom, dude. You, man? He's doing a bathroom call. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Flash your toilet. Yeah. I'm trying to find the one, uh, or the guy that reads the, the obituaries. He read one for Big L, and I can't find it. Damn it. Damn it, Carlito. This is old head Mick. Uh-oh. You know me, I'm Milkman's grandpa. <gasps> calling up. Yeah. Talk to you about a few issues I'm having right now with your sh with your show here. Uh -huh. But every time I call, God damn it, you don't answer the phone. I'm an asshole. What am I supposed to do? Is this the right number? Yeah, it is. Come brother. on now. I'm sorry. It's a popular How show. How do I talk man? to you? All right. Okay. This is a popular show, guys. I'm sorry. I tried to get to you. Sorry, so we're Grandpa. Trying. We're trying. There's we're a long good. line. Everybody yeah. wants to call in. you got to be persistent. Sorry, buddy. Hey, Carlito. Man, I really love the show. Great show. Always funny. Except that Milkman guy. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I think you should get rid of the Milkman. Ah, burn. You All that right. Milkman? See you later, Milkman. All yeah, right. He's, uh, vote for me. he's really boring. He's not funny. <laughs> he seems like he's drunk all the time. I don't know. Maybe he is. Yeah. He's uh, otherwise, great show. There you See go. Ya. All right. So one vote for uh, no more milkman. All right, milkman. All right, Shout out, man. man. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks a lot, everybody. I'm all right. Glad everybody called in. Oh, come on. Show, no. These 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 are uh, tonight's voicemails here. I'm playing. Let's get through these so everyone gets a chance to be heard at least. <laughs> So, yeah, guys, if I miss your call, I'm sorry. Like I said, a lot of calls come in. I did, can only have one Did they even leave their name, or did we, we did, have a name no, or a we, caller ID for that caller? I do, but I don't want to give that out. Uh, but, uh, well, I want me to know like to know. <laughs> you want me to so you can, do you want to talk shit to him? Okay, maybe he'll call oh, back. I know he left a message. I mean, if they ain't got any balls, I mean, come on. Oh, we Milkman. got the balls on up. Milkman on the balls, on the ball trip now. Holy shit. All right, so look. Yeah, yeah. Like what's the, what's yeah. the name or the number there? Uh, if if, if you're uh, if you're having trouble getting through, leave just one voicemail. But at least I can get to play you a little bit. You know, <laughs> here's a, here's a longer one. Uh, Dwight, you still there? Please hang on. Go yeah, ahead. yeah. Right. Let's see. I'm holding up the line. Transfer. Okay, I will transfer you now. So you are going to hear some old music. Is that you? If you could just wait on the no. line. No, oh, the same shit that's been calling right, in the not. show, dude. Forget it. Oh, you think he's going to play Macron? Let's see. Come down, and we will transfer you. No, you no, calm down. No. Okay, so just one moment, please. You answer the call, fuckhead, and don't say another word. Are you okay to hold while I transfer you? <laughs> answer the call, and don't say another word, dickhead. Okay, I will transfer you through now, sir. Bunch of fucking assholes. And uh, if you could please hold Bunch for one moment. Idiot. I'll just put you on hold. That sounds fun. I don't know. It sounds kind of like Zolar. Who is that? Anyone? Anyone know? No? Uh, I, think I think it's General Autumn. <laughs> uh, let's see what this is. So this is a residential property. It's quite nice, too. Oh, it's Macron. What's up, Macron? All right, cool. Macron calling in, checking in. My biggest fan. Awesome. I don't blame him. I thought you were doing a live well, show. Uh, I'll try again. All right. Hey, Carlito, we got confirmed uh, Michelle Clevenger's new number. Get out. You got it? Ah, uh, no. Yeah, yeah hey. confirmed, too. Verified. Oh, that'd be great. Time to, to call to. them right now. Yeah, Time to call back your hotline. Uh, okay, which one was that? The hotline, the hotline, the the gambling one, gambler's right? Gambler's hotline. The gambler's, gambler's hotline. Gambler's hotline. Right. Yeah, we're trying to get all that Jeanette or whatever her name was, Gina. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, let's do it. Or Tina. Tina, I think it was. Tina? Tina or something. Good not quite get it. Tina, Gina, Gina. It was real close to that. Vagina. Vagina. That's really Vagina. close. Vagina. Vagina. You have reached the Indiana Problem Gambling Helpline. This line is for gambling. I don't know that they have any casinos in Indiana. Is Mike Pence from Indiana? Is that where he's from? Yeah, that's where the head of the KKK is from, too. They just hung up on me. Was Indiana a union state during the Civil War? Was it even uh, around during the Civil War? Indiana, yes. 
was a union state. Next door to Illinois. Illinois. Hi, this is KKK. Indiana. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, this is Indiana Gambling Helpline. How can I help you? Yeah, hi. I'm at the casino right now. I'm trying to see uh-huh. like getting someone to help me realize that this is a really bad idea. What I'm about to do. Okay, are you? Uh-huh. Are you in front of a machine right now? Uh, well, like, I had to walk away because the machines, they're so, it's like, sexually, you know, like, they have lots of lights and sounds. And then they have a machine uh-huh. that is called the Playboy machine, the Playboy Casino. Sure. And it has, uh-huh. like, women with, like, big breasts on it and bunny tails. And it's okay. like, you put in a quarter and you pull the handle and then, like, the uh-huh. things, the things spin. And, um, how, how long have you been playing? Uh, I've been here for, I mean, it's hard to tell because there's no clocks in here or no windows. But I want to say probably about 23 hours. I took out several cash advances. Echo, stop! I took out several cash advances already. Okay. So there's a... There's a man here. My name's Aceveda. There's a man here who said that I can, um, like, you know, perform a sexual act on him, and he'll give me some more money to try to come out of the hole. I'm not sure if I understand what you mean. Do you, uh, there's a guy here named Dwight. He's at the machine next to me, and he said that if I give him oral sex, that he'll give me $5,000 that I can keep gambling with. Well, are you thinking about continue to gamble? Well, I was, but I didn't know about giving a man oral sex. I've never done that, you know. I'm a married man, straight. You want to go to the bathroom with me, or are you gonna do it right here? I don't. Let me. Let me I, I'm talking to my wife real quick to see if it's okay. All right. All right. Can you please tell me what to do? I don't know what to do. I um. I will say, uh, as a counselor, I I can't force anyone to do anything. Uh, it is really depend on you what you want to do for yourself. All right. Should he wear? Should I insist that he wear a condom while I give him oral sex? Then, you think? Um. Well. Um. I can only answer questions related to gambling. Um. But this is related because to... he gives me. If I do this oral. The sex in the mouth. He gives me money, and I then I'm gonna gamble. That's why I'm doing it. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be doing that. Cause Jesus Christ, you know. Yeah. If so, I can. We can talk about the gambling itself. If you do like gambling and you want to continue to do that, uh, there's nothing I can help you. And if you are willing to pr- pay any kind of price to continue to gamble, that is your decision. Okay, so then what are you supposed to be here for? Because I was told that this line was here to talk me out of gambling, to give me a reason. Uh, actually, we are not here to talk you out of gambling. We are here to provide you resource. Um, so that is, if you decide that you don't want to gamble and you want to deal with, uh, you want to us uh, support you to make the change. We are here to support you. But like I said, we we, we are not here to force anyone to make a change that they are not um, well you support me ready for now I want you to support me you guys come here can you come and give him the sex the oral sex and then maybe then that way I don't have to gamble because then you will have the money is there anything I can help you with today yeah come down come to the casino I'm at the Indiana Indian Casino Indiana Indian Casino. Please. Like I have told you, um, this is out of the scope of my service. I'm gonna bite um, you. I'm gonna bite you. you. I'm gonna if, bite you. If you need some. I'm gonna bite you in your regarding. legs. I'm gonna bite your leg, your thigh muscle, your thigh skin. I'm gonna bite. I'm gonna leave black marks on you. If you need some information about uh, talking with a counselor about your addiction, or if you have uh, decide to make a change, please do call us back. Shut up. Get off my phone. Get off my fucking phone, right? Get the fuck off my phone. 
Dwight needs to do a prank call here. Dwight, do we, would you uh, do you have any idea for a CPAP machine cleaning thing? I don't know if you heard those that I did earlier. CPAP machine. Uh, no, I think it was when I was driving home. You probably did those. Of course, of course, of course. Let me get rid of this casino noise. Jesus. Um, I'm looking for numbers here. I'm, like, got... I'm liking how I could call on Skype, but instead I'm just fucking with the... Uh the number and the people can't call in oh uh, well no skype is sh i don't i really have skype running anymore right now for shows i'm oh. i'm very upset at skype right now it's gonna be a re for that that other show i do i'm gonna do it hey here's a puerto rican restaurant i'm sandbagging you all right shit fuck it it's in nashville it's called mass confusion all over again Hello? Hello? Hang on. I screwed that up. Second. Hello? Alright. Yeah, she doesn't want to answer. She doesn't want to play. Dwight, I'm going to let you go. Let someone else be on. I'm sorry, buddy. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck it. Yeah. All right, I'll see you later, boy. Here goes Dwight. See you later, Dwight. Bye, Dwight. I have to stick to the rules, to the new rules that everyone, you know, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. Well, Grandpa was, got angry, couldn't get in. There's a couple other people, but we got to talk to Dwight. At least we got to talk to Dwight. Yeah, I know. Here's another voicemail. When did Grandpa call in? One way or another, even if I have to send Tigger over there, and you know how Tigger gets, the when dead. he doesn't have his snacks. What? <laughs> I will have that honey if it's the last day I do. Oh man, that's a like violent Winnie the Pooh. Holy shit! Something like the dead. <laughs> the dead Winnie the Winnie the Pooh. If he was the dead, shit. That's the dead of any Winnie the Pooh to his kids. I'm, I'm you ever hear from the dead anymore? Is he still alive or is he still around? Last I knew, he lost his job for the airline, and that's the last I heard. Milkman, oh, here's working in the airlines? He, he, not anymore. Milkman, this is a voicemail that, that pertains to you. Going to, uh, well, he already played that one uh, early. One guy wants me to quit. I'm going to check your messages, and you're going to screen calls. I just had a question um, about how long you and Milkman have known each other, but, you know. I just want to get on the air. Oh, All right. he wants to get on up. the air. Peace. Let's see if this is him. Let's see. Here's a caller. Caller, go ahead. You're on the air. Please be nice. Yo, Big Cross. What up? It's Ethan. Hey, Ethan. What's up, man? How you doing, buddy? Ethan. Yeah. Shit. Let's call Joey Guns. That's what we need to do. That's what the show needs is some Joey Guns. That's right. Fuck yeah. Off. Thursday. Yeah. Fuck that. Hang on, let me turn what this up, Milky down. Man? You fucking Milky Licker, you. What's <laughs> happening? Same shit. Getting her going on, baby. Yeah. Hey, K Cross. I'm yep. uh, going to Marilyn Manson and Rob Zombie. Bro. Marilyn Manson and Rob Zombie in concert together? That sounds fun. Yes, sir. Nice. Do people still people don't still protest Marilyn Manson like they did in the early nineties? Oh man. Not that I know. I remember, like, in 97, my senior year in high school, and fucking Marilyn Manson was had a concert in Orlando, and there was fucking people praying the rosary outside and all this fucking shit. Did you go? No, I didn't go. I didn't go. I saw it on the news. There was a lot of news coverage on it. Got a fan? It was all right. It was all right. I knew a girl. I, I kind of dug a girl who was into him. I saw Alice Cooper, man. Yeah. Nice. Now that that guy right there is kind of like you know really even before that Manfield guy. Manfield. It's, it's actually, it's funny you mention that. My uh, my girlfriend's father, he actually met Alice Cooper. Now Alice Cooper's sick motherfucker. He ate, ate the bad heads and did all kinds of crazy shit, man. That motherfucker's not. Well, I thought that was uh, the other guy though. Ozzy. Ozzy too. Ozzy did that too, but 
Fucking Cooper did too. He's crazy, man. Hello, thanks for calling Beer Authority. Yeah, hi. I was returning a call from Joey. He's a bouncer there, security guy. Uh, give me one second to see if I can track him down. All right. And then the baby thing, we did the baby killer thing. He's <laughs> crazy, fucker, man. I, I didn't hear about that, but I, I believe it. I saw him in uh, in Wayne's World the movie. Oh, he was raunchy, dude. He was like great, the guitars and all that shit. I mean, he's that genre, dude. He's like king, man. I mean, you know, I'm sure Marilyn's good too, because it's nowadays. But back in the day, if they'd be the equivalent of Alice Cooper, in my opinion. Uh, Alice Cooper's on a radio show. He does, or he did? Oh, he still is. Yeah, he's on it out in the uh, West Coast. Uh, K uh, Camo, let's see, somewhere out in Joplin, Mississippi. Missouri, Joplin, Missouri, that's the radio show. That's a K station in Missouri? Yeah, uh uh-huh. K stations are west of the Mississippi, right? Is that how it goes? K west of Mississippi. But then W. W is the east. east. Does it make... They're just random letters that they chose, I guess? Because... Yeah. No, there's a name for it. The station he works for, and he's got a radio station. He's got a radio show called Alice Cooper at Night. like a music show. It's pretty good, actually. I used to listen to it. I haven't done it for a while, but we're in here. Yeah, with Alice Cooper, Cooper, man. Check him out, man. He had, he had a pretty good radio show. Hey, Joey. Hell yeah. Is Joey here? No, that was you. Uh, we're in here for. What are you gonna say to Joey? We're, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna give get get him to curse me a little bit. Oh, it's fucking you. Tell, tell him. Tell him you're at the bar. Tell him you're sitting at the bar. Tell him at the bar right now. I'll tell him where we're yeah. sitting at upstairs. You got any uh, bar sound effects? Like, you know. Ah, yes, I do. Good idea. I think I do. Ah, perfect. And we're waiting. Mine sounds pretty legit. Hello. 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 Hey, Joey, it's I'm up here upstairs in front of the bar. Joey. Joey. Joey, God, oh, come on, Joey. Nah, he knows. He knows why I should have had you talk to him. Fuck. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, he's and, with it. and I left him alone for a week. I thought he'd come out of it. No, he's like, fuck that guy. I really, if we ever meet up again and go back to that place, we have to go back to that place. But, oh, uh, absolutely. We, I, I can't talk. I'm going to have to be the laryngitis guy. I have to go in with a scarf, and you guys are going to have to talk on my behalf for my orders. Cause... Shit. Yeah, make sure you bring a drill with you, though. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now you play a quick voicemail here. Stand by, Ethan. All right. You get lots of voicemails. Sorry. Um, yeah, this is Macron. People are lame. I've seen them taking on RVCB. On, uh, like, Reddit and stuff. Anyways, keep up the good work. Peace. What? Who's he talking about? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Nice. Check out. Uh, I bet you get lots of voicemails. I do, yeah. Sorry. Um, it's okay. Yeah, this is Macron people. Lame. Oh, uh, the Macron people. Yeah, you know what? They got to eat, too, I guess, you know? Better there over there than here. Hey, buddy, it's Buster. I was just trying to call him live. I don't know if this is the right Buster spot, K-Z. but anyways, listen to the show. It's fun. Um, uh, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Buster K. Hey, but- All right. God damn it. I ordered pills from my room 10 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. God damn it. I ordered pills from my room 10 minutes ago. Let's call a hotel and just play that. Let me see what I can find here. RBCP says Buster's never called his voicemail. Aw. Without the... Uh, yeah. Come on, Buster. Call Brad's voicemail, man. Why are you like that? Motherfucker, man. Man, come on, man. You gotta call Brad's voicemail, man. Looking for a hotel here. What, uh... You see those numbers I sent you? That weird, la- uh, the, the, uh, there was the adult actress one, or actor, or whatever, the porn guy, and then there was the, uh, pe- people's court looking for couples, or divorce court or some shit. Divorce court? You think they'll answer it this time, though? 
I have no idea. There was two numbers, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Or one yeah. of them had two numbers. One, one had a cell, one had a landline. I can't remember if that was the form one or the, uh, the people's court. I saw them come in. I thought I copied them, and I may not have, but I can copy them now for sure. Let's, Stupid let's, motherfucker. Let's be fucking goofy here. You can do the porn one or the, uh, Thank the you for calling Peppermill Reno, Pepper recipient of AAA's Four Diamond Award oh. for Hospitality Excellence. This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance. Thanks for calling to Reno Peppermill. This is Glenn. I'm a director call. God damn it. I ordered pills from my room 10 minutes ago. Pardon me? God damn it. I ordered pills from my room 10 minutes ago. I, I'm not understanding what you're asking for, sir. This is the hotel operator. God damn it, I ordered pills from my room ten minutes ago. I don't know what you're saying, sir, except you ordered something, but I don't know what. God damn it, I ordered pills from my room ten minutes ago. Damn it, I ordered I pills from my room ten saying. minutes ago. God damn it, I ordered pills from my room ten minutes ago. God damn it, I ordered pills from my room ten minutes ago. God damn it, I ordered pills from my room ten minutes ago. Alright, sure. Just keep playing it over and over again. It's probably like, okay. <laughs> that was weird. Uh, Fucking weird, right? Like the, uh, Little avant garde. Time, I finally understood what he was saying. You wanted pillows. <laughs> I could, you're, you're a little low there, Ethan. You're a little low on the. My bad. My bad. There After like go. the eighth or ninth time, you kept hitting the, the replay on that um, sound effect. I could actually finally make out that he said pillows. Pillows, right? Yeah, I guess it's kind of... Balls. Yeah, balls. Oh, cows. Cows, <laughs> cows from my room. Welcome to Peak Hotel, downtown Reno's first non-smoking, non-gaming, independent hotel. If you know your party's oh, extension, you can dial it at any time. For reservations, press 1. For roundabout grill, press 2. For base for camp, though. press 3. For valet, press 4. For security, press 5. For cargo... Security. That you entry was not valid. If you know the extension of the person with whom you wish to speak, enter. Please hold. Thank you for calling the Whitney Peak Hotel. My name is Beth. How can I help you? Hello? Yeah. I had it down. I fucking ten minutes ago. Stupid, and I don't know when to hit the button right because I'm stupid. I hate myself. I'm gonna cut myself now. Don't say that. Ten Good. minutes Welcome ago. To Peak Hotel, downtown Reno's first non-smoking. Non Please hold. That sounds like the worst hotel in fucking Reno. Not only you're not in Vegas. Uh, Ask your smoke or gamble. gamble. Thank you for calling the Whitney Peak Hotel. My name is Beth. How can I help you? God damn it, I ordered pills from my room 10 minutes ago. Hello? Hello? God damn it, I ordered pills from my room 10 minutes ago. God damn it, I ordered pills from my room 10 minutes ago. Hey, give me the phone. Hello? Hello, yeah. We ordered pills for the room, god damn it, 10 minutes ago. Okay, what's the room number? God damn it, I ordered pills from my room 10 minutes ago. That's my, that's my buddy. You need to get the fucking pillows over here. Room 212. Hurry up, let's go. God damn it. Oh, it's 10 minutes ago. Yeah, we need, uh, we need a couple ashtrays here because we've been, we've been uh, ashing out into the, like, into a cup that we have here, like one of those red solo cups. Okay, so room 212, you said we don't have a room 212. Uh, is it 222 then? No, we don't have any numbers that are 222. Our rooms start at the fifth floor. Room and also we have no smoking in our hotel, so well, we won't be able to anyway. Well, the cup's smoking. I'm not smoking. The cup is. 
Yeah, the cup is smoking. Okay. There's a lot of smoke in here right now, actually. Yeah, I'm kind of worried about it. Okay, this. so there is going to be about $150 for that added on to your oh, room if on. we have smoking come in there. No, 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 no. They said tobacco free. We're no, not, we're not smoking cup. tobacco. It's, it's not. I'm not smoking. The cup smokes. We're not sm it's all smoking, condition. sir. Unfortunately, I would have to send security up. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, there out. goes the, now the fucking alarm's going off. Okay. Shit. Great. All right. Shit. So, tell what him, was your room number? Do we even have to turn it off? Wave the, wave the, wave the, the I'm blanket wave, on it. I'm waving right here. I'm wave waving. the towel on it. Oh, the blanket's on fire. Shit, the blanket's God, out on fire. It. Ah, Did shit. It? What's Hit your room it. number, sir? Give me the water. Hang on, hang on. I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. I got it. Thank you. I'm going to take my dick out and piss on it. Hit it, hit it. Huh? Sir, what's your room number? Don't worry about it. It's, no, it's burning it. still there. It's all, It's almost out. I got Still it, more. I got it. I got okay, it. okay, okay. Thanks. Thank you. No, it's not. There's nothing wrong. It's okay. It's okay. We got it under control. We, got it. we, we disconnected nope. it. We disconnected it. No problem. We got it. It's all under control. Hey, Cross. You what's your last name? Huh? My name. Uh, what's well, your last uh, we're, name? We're not on the. We're not on the lease. We're, uh, What's your last name, though? The last name on the room? We don't know. We just met him at the club. Okay, what we hotel are you in? We were just partying in the room for a few minutes, and the cup was smoking when we got in here. Yeah, we're at the... Uh... Okay, so can you go outside and look at the room number so I can send them up to make sure that there's nothing wrong with the alarm? Well, I don't want them to be in any trouble. There's too much smoke. I can't even see it. Yeah, he said we could hang out in here. He went. He went to get some uh, some heroin, and we were gonna play cards in here. And we're not dressed either. Yeah, we're not. Yeah. Okay, we need more information, unfortunately. So, because um, I we need to send some Carvacier. up that room. He left some Carvacier for us. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Can you look at the room number so I can have somebody go up and make sure that the alarm is set, is turned off? Well, you it's said. Light bulb room. Yeah. It's, it's I need the off. room number, sir. It's turned off. The light's flashing, but the alarm stopped. I hit it with a baseball bat. Sir, I need the room pull the wire out, it stopped making the noise. It starts with five. Okay, if you can just minutes. step right outside and just let me know which room number it is. Uh, we're all naked. Why? Are we in trouble? No, because the person on the lease is going to be the one in trouble. So I just need the room number, please. God damn it's it. a good thing he's a fake name. Hey, I mean, he's not here right well, now. In that case, he's the one that was. Hey, Ethan, hey, Ethan, grab that TV real quick. All right. You like that that little chair that's in here too? You want the chair? Yeah. Throw that. Throw throw the TV at the chair. Okay. <laughs> All right. You ready? There we go. Milkman, break that shit over there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hello. Yeah. Thank you. Fuck Hi. Hello. Fuck this shit. Fuck this Hello? hotel. Fuck this hotel. <laughs> Rock and roll, motherfucker. Uh, this place is a piece Hello? of shit. This fucking piece of shit. Still burning hotel. over there. <laughs> the flag is on fire. Yeah. <laughs> Woo, yeah. Fireworks. That's all right. Plug the toilet too. Plug the toilet up. Put a subway sandwich in the toilet. Hello? <laughs> Look at it, bubble. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. All right, now plug the bathtub up and put the water on full. Fill her up. All right, shut off that fire alarm. Rip the wire out of that thing. I ripped the wire out of the other one. Rip the wire out of it. I put the fire alarm in the toilet. Uh, there, there it goes. There. I got it. I got it. All right, we got it. We got it, sir. Yes, sir. Where, where, what room are you in? We're in the fifth floor. I know, but what room? Uh, it starts with a five. I don't know. This you is the party room, baby. Yeah. Starts with a five. You <laughs> look don't for know the water. <laughs> look for the look for the room with the water coming out the front door, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're water. in the room with the water coming out the front door. Yeah! Woo! Woo! Fine, motherfucker. Yeah. Hey, um, what is, what's your name? Yeah, break that shit, milkman. Break it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck it's this room. Plug up, hey, plug up that toilet, man. We're not responsible. <laughs> yeah. Woo! I got a submarine sandwich here. Put this it in the toilet. 
Hey, Flush, sir. Flush that those sheets in that sandwich hey. in the toilet. Hey, sir. Yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm, okay, look, I'm going to wipe my ass on this one. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to pay. We're hey, not sir. Yeah, we're not responsible. Uh-oh. Uh hey, let me if I wear this thing like a diaper, what do you think? Uh, Hello. Well, no, I have to give this sound. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This room is fucked. I'm glad I don't have to pay for this. Yeah. <laughs> all right, give me some more. Yeah, all right, we're going to head out, lady. Thanks for your help. Thanks for the all suggestion. Right. Hey, the crevasse is all gone now. You can you can have the rest. All right. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Hello? Who's that? Hello? Hey, that's our party crew. Hi, you sir. coming up? Yeah, what are you Are you mean? coming up, baby? What were we, we doing? Topless girls. We're topless our, girls. We're gonna. We're headed out now. Don't worry about it. You'll find. The, look for the room with the water coming out the front. Or under yeah. The door. yeah, and all the furniture smashed too. Slip and slide, yeah. honey. Yeah. All right. It's like a, it's like a river. In Don't here. slip when you slide. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to fix all this carpet and everything now. It's yeah, a, and if you, if you find the bowl, it's not mine. Yeah. All right. Went to a garden party. Yeah. Milk, really, milk really. man, did you forget your bong? We're gonna let you go. Oh hell no! I think we gotta have a bong. The bong's in a thousand pieces. There, they hung up. <laughs> We're destroying the rooms. Get in there! They're gonna break my bong now. Dang! That was a lot of fun. All right. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah. You have the... a good night, you guys. All right, Ethan. I'll I'll call your numbers. Uh, hopefully, yeah, we should, cause I'm on for another hour. So yeah, motherfucker. Oh, yeah, give him a call. Uh, All right. right. All right, big Ethan. All right, well... See you later, buddy. Later, man. Man. Hey, peace, buddy. We gotta we gotta break some more hotel rooms up, motherfucker. I know, dude. That place got out of out out of hand. That party got out of hand, brother. <laughs> oh man, it's like a bunch. They of were fun. really really upset. They stayed on the line for at least ten minutes trying to get yeah. a number out of it. Um. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ethan's line is open four zero five three nine six six eight eight four. I was just gonna say, please read out the number because yeah. then that way we'll get people calling in. I'm sure people are saying, "What's the fucking number?" Yeah. Four zero five thirty nine mouth. That's four zero five three nine six six eight eight four. Here's a caller right now. Thirty nine mouth. Thirty nine. Hi. Thanks for calling, and I'm Carlino. Please be a friend. Hey. Fuck you, motherfucker. Oh no. Why do you say that? Just kidding. Hey, it's Brad. what's up, Brad? Hey, Brad. Oh, Brad. Yeah, Brad. Brad, hey, hey, Brad, Brad. Yeah. Yeah. Brad Carter, a host of Family Time Prank Calls. Great show, man. Good work. Old Cactus doing. Head himself. Yeah. Old mm -hmm. Cactus Ass. FamilyTimePrankCalls.com. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what happened with with uh, Mr. Dabalina's free crazy house of prank calls? Did that project uh, did that? Is that still? Are you still updating that? I don't think I've seen that. Yeah, actually, yeah. I I put a new one up. It's been like two months, and I put one up uh, uh -huh. like yesterday or the day before. Oh, I see. I have not looked at Pocket Cast yeah. lately, so I wouldn't know. So there you go. Thank yeah. you. I've been yeah. very. I just been lazy. Yeah, um, that's all right. Yeah. I don't think anyone listens to it. But. Yeah. Hey, why don't you tell Mr. Biggs to hang out with me and listen to my show? He doesn't ever interact with me. And I'm a big fan. I've heard all those episodes. except I haven't heard the adhesive ones. Are they any good, the new adhesive ones? I heard all the old yeah. stuff. The well, I, like, I like the characters. So yeah. It's awesome to me. But like they don't do the ingenious phone stuff that they did in the old shows. Oh, my God. Yeah, where he cut it like Art Bell and uh, uh, the, Dr. What was that? Dr. Ruth? I think a lot of them were Dr. Ruth calls also. He had one where like this old lady was like, I've just been so so stressed out. I've been masturbating. <laughs> like, what the <laughs> fuck what are you talking about? Why you I don't remember that one. I gotta yeah. listen to all those again. It's been a few years. It's good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I binge listened to those once one year. Like, like he wants to do a call in show. He's Thank been, you for like, calling the South Virginia Home Depot. For store hours and directions, oh press one. Sorry, if that you was know loud. the that was loud of the person you are trying to reach, press 2. Uh, to speak to an associate yeah. in one of our store departments, press 3. Yeah. If for kitchen and bathroom design, press 1. Oh. For lumber... Buster Casey wants me to make someone cry. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, by the way, Dwight and had the same... Kitchen audio. design is scratching. How can I help you? Yeah, hi. We're over here and we're breaking stuff. Yeah. 
Yeah. Break that shit. Break that shit. Like, do you have any replacement uh, light fixtures? Because they're breaking them. Yeah, there's a lot of glass here. Hey, quit throwing that shit at me. Hello? Uh, how much is the replacement, ma'am? What was that? You heard me. No, I did not. We're breaking the glass. Oh. What do you do? That's I don't give a shit. How come I wasn't invited? Oh, you, you want to let your aggressions <laughs> I out? I want this. You want to let your aggressions out? I yeah. told you, look at this. Ma'am? Ma'am? Uh-huh. What, what could I say to you to make you cry? Because Buster Casey wants me to make a, a woman cry tonight. Who does? Buster Casey, my my BFF. Okay. Like, I mean, that sounds kind of mean, but... Yeah, but, you know, we're we're shitty people. I have an idea. Hey, ma'am, how, t <laughs> ma how tall are you? Not very. Are you, what are you, like 5'3", five, 5'4"? Five, no, taller than that. Like 5'6", five, 5'7"? Five, no. 5'9"? Oh, she's short. Negative. Uh, so you're... We have 5'9 with 6-inch heels, maybe. 5'5"? Five, five. Are you fat? How fat are you? How much That's rude. How much you weigh? Like 180? And you're 5'5"? Five, five? Definitely not answering that. Yeah, you probably... On a scale of 1 to 10, how you, fat are you? You could lose a few pounds, probably, right? Especially at your much. height. Yeah. I don't know. You probably could, too. Yeah, but I'm not a woman. I can get away with it, you know? Yeah. Oh, not at all. Yeah, it's a man's world. I could be fat as fuck, and I'll still find something out there. Have you, you know, Take that. Good try, though. Yeah. You bitches are a dime a dozen, fat girls. On a scale of one to ten, how much are you crying right now? Not at all. Oh, uh, you're upset yeah. though. You're upset. You're thinking about it. Not even a little bit. Are you going to go home and eat a can of frosting? Be honest. No, I don't have frosting <laughs> at home. <laughs> yeah, not yet. You're going to stop on the way. All right, cool. Good deal. Who eats cans of frosting? That's weird. Don't get the sugar-free stuff because it's just going to give you diarrhea. All right. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, get the real stuff. Ben and Jerry's is a friend. Yeah. I always eat the real stuff when I cry. Mm hmm okay. All right. And Oreos. I like to, when I'm when I want to have a cry, I like to dip Oreos in peanut butter. When's the last time you cried, ma'am? Uh, and what was it about? No clue. Yeah, huh. Come Whatever. on. Can you transfer to a different... Can you tra now? transfer to a man department? Meem. 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 Let's All break right. some more shit. I'm going to let you go so you can I want to talk to your supervisor. Right. I want to talk to your supervisor now. We're going to get you fired. Then oh, you'll cry. Yeah. Hey, what Good was luck you? with that. Hey, seriously, though, what was your name? Yeah, good, Are you single? good luck with that. You're fucking the boss. It's not going to happen. Is that what you're saying? No, my boss is gay, your... so that's not going to happen. Your boss is gay? For sure. Okay, well, you know. How did you know that? That's why he's Cause, awesome. Because she tried. You tried, right? She I... wanted a promotion. Where were you? Are you okay? crying? Yeah. Another tough. Okay, all right. I think our job's done here with you. We're going to, um, if you want to hold, we're going to call him up in the apartment, okay? Can you pretend to cry? No. Please. Come on. Please. Pretend, pretend for us. Just cry a little bit. Thank you for calling the South Virginia Home Depot. For store hours and directions, press 1. If you know the three-digit extension of the person you are trying to reach, now, press 2. Up, to speak to an associate in one of our store departments, press 3. If you're calling about an installation, special order, or delivery, press for kitchen and bathroom design. A random department. This is number 6. Thank you for calling your South Virginia Home Depot. This is Jasmine in Hardware. Oh, a woman in Hardware? <laughs> yes, I am a woman. Oh, that's that's unfortunate that you have that disability. Is there a man I can talk to? I think it's good that they let a disabled you with your disability answer the phone and play with the toys. 
you know? I'm pretty sure they're toys for men, actually. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Did you did you still want me to transfer you to a manager? Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, sure. Hey, um, Jasmine's a stripper name. Did you know that? What's up with that? I did know that. Thank you. Okay. Have a great day, sir. All right. You gonna transfer us? <laughs> she's gonna cry. She's gonna cry. I know. She's we want to talk to a womanger, not a manager. A womanager. A womanger. A womanger. Thank you for calling the South here. Virginia Home, Home Depot. Here. I'm sorry, but you have selected an invalid option. Oh, option. To repeat option. the menu, press 9. I think it's 5. Man, oh, I don't know what Home option man. I hit, guys. We're fucked. Oh, uh, uh, Brad, I noticed that Dwight had the same audio level that you did last week and right now. So maybe it's on my end. Maybe not what, do I, do I sound really bad? You sound like you're on the pink phone. Uh, it might be my, it might be my codex. It might be my codex. I'm on my microphone thing. You know, I'm on the studio mic. He sounds good, dude. Actually, I mean, he's very intelligible. I don't know. I mean, what are you hearing? Yeah. It sounds fine to me. I don't know what option. His audio level is not hot. He's very, I mean. You're not Normal. Hot. You're not hot, Milkman. You're not hot. You need to flirt well, with I, I already done got fired once tonight, so I don't give a shit now. I'm on free time now. <laughs> hey, Brad. I'm I got, not getting paid now. Brad, I got one for you. This is Carter Brothers Ace Hardware. Oh, they're closed. Never mind. Dang it. Oh. Poop. All right. Sorry. I had you all excited there for a second. I don't think I would be able to get an ID stolen yeah. again. <laughs> I was just like, what the hell was that? <laughs> I think that guy was messing with us. I don't know. I could hear the guy at one point in the background, like giggling, like, oh, ha, ha, ha. He's, you're leaving with my badge. <laughs> oh, no, I know. It really, it just didn't make sense. Like, why'd that happen? Yeah, that, don't know. Let me get to Ethan numbers here. Uh, Ethan sent some numbers. I thought I had copied them, but apparently I didn't. Uh, somewhere out there is a voicemail from Dialer, and Dialer wanted to join us. But. Good old dialer. Good old dialer. Dialer's a funny dude. Uh, what happened to, uh, like when when is the last time you heard from the dead? Like uh, I just remember him from see like three years ago and I haven't heard from him since. Uh dude, when was the last time I heard from him? Let's see. He probably left me a voicemail at some point talking some crazy shit. It was it's been a few months. It was when he we we talked a bit when he got that airline job, and I wanna say that was like around May. And it lasted like three weeks. He said that he wasn't fast enough or something. <laughs> I don't know what they were getting at, but all right. Because look, fucking the dead got the job, right? And he's bragging to me the whole time. I can fly wherever I want now. Uh, wow. I can fly for free. And he he had like, <laughs> it was he every, he got his job. And he took a he took a free flight to Miami to Chicago from Miami to Chicago, right? He went to New Orleans and he went somewhere. He was somewhere flying somewhere. more than he was working. <laughs> yeah, he was flying more than, and then they let him go. And I think this is like, dude, you're abusing the fucking system. Bye, thanks. I felt bad. <laughs> I felt bad for him. He was oh, poor Dieter. He was so excited. He he even got like a bank account with a credit union the day before they let him go. He was. Oh, poor Dieter. Yeah. Yeah, poor dumb guy. That was uh, this year. That was this year. That was. Like well, they maybe... probably figured out he, his travel bill was higher than what they were actually paying. Him, right? so As a matter of like, fact, yeah. it, it was June. I <laughs> know it was. Push. It was when I was it, when I went to New York City. And that was in June, late June. So it's been about uh, June, July, August. Yeah, about about uh, you know a month and a half, two months since I've talked to him. He's all oh, right. Lord, Lord. Yeah. Poor, I mean, poor Dieter. Is he still is he still living out there in Illinois or where? Yeah, he's still out there in Illinois. This is a car for sale, Brad. If you want to do a prank, you let me know. This is a a ninety eight BMW. Is he still married? That's the last I I never heard. Is he still married? Or he what's won't going give me a that? straight answer. She doesn't live with him. Oh, he he really likes. Oh, she don't live with him. No, she. Ooh, that's not good. He had a little he loved bit bragging of bragging about his wife. Yeah, he had a little bit of the drinky, drinky, slappy, slappy. Oh, I don't know. 
something about that was a that was always a questionable downfall of his. Well, Apparently, uh, did he man? That's well, too bad to hear, man. I'm not kidding, but he said that he blacked out and didn't remember what he did, and she said... Oh, fuck, dude, yeah. he's been doing that for years. Yeah, I, know. I mean, he would fucking yeah. call me up, dude, and said, oh, yeah, I drank two fifths last night. I, you know, I spent, like, $3,000, and I'm like, dude. Yeah. I said, why in the fuck would you do why? that? And yeah. now, what, tipping, tipping, like, strippers, $3,000 tipping. Look. Loan me a thousand dollars in that fucking money, dude. I'll give it back to it. you, yeah. and you'll have the money later, dude. But you go to the strippers, you ain't gonna have nothing. Tip you ain't gonna get your dick sucked. Milkman will suck your dick, man. I ain't gonna do that. I said the strippers can, but at least you'll get your money back you'll when you give dick, it to me. Man. Hello. 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 Yeah, you have a Chrysler Newport high performance, six point three V eight engine. Yeah. All right, I'm going to put through my associate. He's looking to buy that for the fleet. Here you go. Hey there, this is Mr. Carter from, from Brad and Associates. Okay. How much for the car? How, how much would it be? How much is the car? You go through the ad now. What? Have you read the ad? No, don't be a smartass. Just tell me how much the stupid I'm car is. I'm not being is. a smartass. I'm just asking a question. Well, okay. I, I don't know how much it is. That's why I'm asking. All right, ten thousand five hundred. Oh, are, are you raising it just because you don't like my attitude? That's not how you sell a car. So, so you, so you, that's that's what I'm saying. So you read the ad, then? So you know what, how much is it? I didn't read the ad. I was transferred over. You fucking idiot. All right, um, all right, all right. Just find another car. All right, bye. Now, now you're trying to raise the price. You know it's not worth that. 69, that's a classic car, man. It's, 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 uh, I'll call him back. Let me see if I can talk some sense. <laughs> Fucking guy. That guy was that unfriendly. One. He didn't want to sell his car. He's a big jerk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He probably wanted you to get gay for it first. Like, oh, you're wasting my time. Mm -hmm. You sound like a fluffer. Fluffer. That's a good job, you know. Yeah, this is Ray from Ray's Construction. I am unavailable at the moment. Big fucking beater. <laughs> Fuck out of here. You sound that. like a dick. I am unavailable at the moment. I sound like a dick. Because I have one. Yeah. My name is Mike. Junk garbage rubbish gub what the fuck junk garbage rubbish it's hard to say disposal <laughs> hauling clean out okay all right uh Brad stay on for this one Dude, that, listen listen wait a minute Dude, this is what these out here these Mexican guys get these fucking old ass trucks and they take these like four by eight sheets of plywood uh -huh. and like little rickety like two by fours and put up like Eight foot high beds on these things. They're so fucking dangerous, dude. Like the time I was driving my taxi back in the old days, I think it was 2011, I saw like uh -huh. five of these fucking hot water tanks that fell off of one of these, one of these things that give away and it killed these people on the hot interstate. Hot water dude. tanks? So, Holy shit. Yeah, yes. man, they were hauling hot water, but the wood gave away. The wood gave away, dude. There was like piles of them all down the road. There's this car that looked like a triangle. Look. Flat, yeah. the whole fucking hood and everything. I knew it was a fatality, dude. You get what it was you pay for. completely flat. You get what you pay for. You want cheap labor in this country? That's what you get. Brad Carter's a big proponent well, of that wall. Well, every time I bring that up is right. you can fuck with them about their shit. Tell them you saw their truck or whatever. Shit's falling apart. You're going to report them to the ice. Or, <laughs> I don't know. The ice. Audi's a good... Hello? 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 Yeah, this is Brad from Brad's Construction. You don't have to do the ice, but... Mexicans are dangerous. They're they're rapists. They're killers. And some of them, Your I presume, call has are been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. I'm talking about <laughs> the KKK. <laughs> Fucking Athena's crazy. She's like, hey, there. You you want to go counter protest the 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 anniversary of the Charlottesville pro the bigger Your call has been forwarded DC to tomorrow. an automatic are you voice message crazy? I'm fucking, I can't Dude, fucking fuck. run away from fucking tear gas and get run over by a fucking angry person. You gotta, tell you, you gotta tell her one thing. Do you want people to know what your face looks like? That's the problem. They will be filming the crowd. If anybody shows up, that's the problem. Man, Do you want them to know who you are? I don't care. It's a free country. You gotta wear man. your anonymous. 
anonymous yeah. mask. My anonymous well, mask, my Guy Fox mask. These white motherfucking Nazis may not agree with your idea. That's the problem. Yeah. I'm I'm hoping that one of these fringe groups... I'm all for fucking protesting, brother, and I've thought uh-huh. about it, because, dude, I'm right here in the center of all these big protests, man. I'm like, like five hours from it. I'm afraid. You like, guys fuck, invented what if protesting. I go over there? Well, over there one of them board. fucking, they recognize you later on, and they want to come fuck with you, right? So then what are you going to fucking do? I don't know, man, right? Yeah, it's fucking... Yeah, we're losing Because everything. it's private, right? So, like, what are you supposed to do? How are you going to go to the pigs? Yeah. You know, like, what the fuck are you going to do? Well, anyway, what I was trying to say is I'm, I'm, I'm looking for the fringe group that adopts that horse mask that's going around everywhere as their, you know, their guy Fox mask. Then I'm on top. Then I'm going to be protesting, but I'm not going to be out well, there. If I can protest I'm all for a horsey down, cat protest. Yeah. If you want to protest about the horsey cat, the poor sales of the horse, horsey cat, I'm all for it, buddy. I'm not about well, walking you be the around. One that starts it. Be the one that starts the horse mask. There you movement. go. The horse mask protest. Hell yeah. Go down to my city council in the horse mask and be very rude and ignorant about the situation. Um, yeah, dude, if I can protest sitting down or something like that lunch counter shit back in the 50s and 60s, I would have been all I would have been all with Dr. King on that. Like, hell yeah. If you want me, you want to you want me to protest by sitting at this lunch counter and, and drinking some coffee? Fuck yeah. I'll be right there. You know? Yeah, no, it wasn't that easy, actually. I don't think they were served the coffee in a cup, if you know what I mean. There's a lot of dumbasses out there these days, I'm telling you, man. And how stupid, we're going to go out with tiki torches. Like, put some work into it, man. Like, make a torch. Fucking tiki. I'm going to go out and buy this, the citronella tiki torch at Home Depot. <laughs> Walmart, dude. It's Walmart. not made in America. The dollar store. Walmart, it's yeah. not made in America, man. That made in America. That was how they got. That's how they got in everybody's purse. Made in America. Yes, so Scott guy. Scott McDonald. Um, if you're calling, requesting moving labor, leave a message. I'll get right back. No, you won't, asshole. Yeah. All right, Brad, yeah, my piece friend. Of fucking I'm, shit I'm, fell off of that I'm gonna, pile of shit I'm you, you drive go, down Brad. the road. Thanks for calling in. No, you're not. Open, just to you're open not. the open the line. I have to open the line. I'm hanging up on you. Oh, no, not Brad. Oh, we got the clang. Bye, See you, Brad. All right. All right. All right. His line is now open. Thanks for calling in, Brad. Uh, four zero five three nine six six eight eight four. Four zero five three nine six six eight eight four. <laughs> that line is now open. We got about another 38 minutes of show, hell. Oh, We're... boy. Purple Cadillac, my friend. Purple Cadillac. Oh, I got to load the OG Kush myself. Hey, uh, I need... I need uh, yeah, here's, dude. Here's a caller. Let's see if I can con this caller into doing a call for me so I can do that. Caller, you're on the air. Thank you. Thank you for calling. Please don't be rude. Hello. Don't be a hater. Hello. I, I bring greetings to everyone hey. listening to the Bro- Bro- show. This is Brooklyn Cell? Except for, uh, except for is that, Brad. Is that Brooklyn Cell? Yes. That's what I called you. The, Who's that? the Brooklyn Cell. The Brooklyn Cell, man. Do you remember the oh, Brooklyn I thought Cell? That was, I thought that it was Dieters. It sounded no, like no, Dieters. No, no, no. It's not Dieters, is it? Yeah. So what? No, that's cool. Brooklyn. What's up? You, uh, you were Brooklyn. saying you don't, you don't like uh, Brad. You said you don't like the guy. Yeah, cause like he's it, he's trying to ruin my uh, prank prankster reputation. Oh well, that's fucked up. Don't Brad, don't do that. What? What did he do? Something to you on the show? Like did he call you out or something? Or are you just saying? Not yeah. yeah. Don't you remember like la- last time on your show, like he, he called me out, like uh, he oh. said I'm a terrorist or something. Oh, did he? Okay. Well, that's not acceptable. That's all right. We have no proof of that. I know. Then again, I am calling you the Brooklyn Cell. Do you know where that comes from? Brooklyn Cell. And after 9-11, there was a quote unquote Brooklyn Cell that got busted. And that's why I call you Brooklyn Cell. I thought it was funny, but it's not too funny. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. didn't get the reference. You should yeah. use that. You should, Brooklyn, you should use that to no, your advantage, right? Don't, because that's, don't. A, that's a funny point. No, no not the terrorist thing. Not the terrorist thing. <laughs> don't. That's His weird. accent and such. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll no, find seriously. something else for you. Don't worry. Or if you think it's funny, go, whatever. But you want to say your name's Brooklyn I'm not talking about the terrorist angle. I'm talking about the, uh, yeah. his, his voice, man. He's got a funny voice. He's got a unique voice. Yeah. So, it was, they could do different calls with it. If this is inappropriate, inappropriate, you don't have to answer. Tell me, and I will sit in my place. But look, I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess uh, Lebanese. No, no, I don't think so. No, no. What? No, you're not Lebanese. No, was I off there? No. Ah, uh, no, no, I'm not Lebanese. No. Okay. All right. Saudi? No, not Saudi either. No, no. No. Uh, no. Come on, let's uh, let's uh, let's get. 
uh, it's not Qatari because you'd have a lot of money. You wouldn't be listening to the show, obviously. But. Yeah, and I would be on uh, your Patreon list, and I'm not, so. Oh, okay, right, right. Yes, <laughs> all right. You don't have to tell us. <laughs> I was just joking around. I know that's. It doesn't matter, doing. man. It doesn't matter. You know, we're all... he has like an Arabic or a mis- Middle Eastern voice, yeah, which would be fun. funny. You could yeah. use that to your or advantage. North, is what or maybe I was North at. African, and that's cool too. But yeah, you know, somewhere in that area. Yeah, we're all brothers, man. We coexist, and you know what? I love you guys' food. I'll tell you that much. I love hummus. I love samosas. All that stuff. So there we go. <laughs> yeah, but hummus makes you fart, so yeah. I love yeah, Papa John. I don't know about that. <laughs> It does. It does. Hey, do you eat your hummus stuffed with meat? Because, like, this Egyptian dude that I was friends with, he used to make hummus, and he always ate it with, like, stuffed with, like, beef. I, I don't know if that's that's a... He was yeah, from... I don't eat uh, hummus, actually. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know. I all wouldn't... Uh, all right, I'm sorry. I, yeah. to... I, I don't <laughs> eat plantain, so I understand. Okay, all right. I'll get off the so subject. So, you, you wanna You want to do a call? Yeah, yeah, we're doing... We're uh, cheap moving labor. Let's see if they answer here this time. If not, we have an, a, a room for rent. That you and I can share, you know? Okay, okay, okay. I was thinking, like, maybe some, like, uh, stuck in an elevator hotel. You want to like be that. stuck? Okay, I can get some elevators in the hotel. Don't worry. Yeah. No problem. Like, we would be, like, stuck together. Hello? Yeah, hi. How you doing? Hey, how's it going? Hey, good, brother. I, saw, right. I saw that you have that uh, cheap moving labor for hire. Yeah, oh, do you need um services? Or? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Um, where are you located? Uh, I've been in the area, in the local area. Uh, I've been Brooklyn, actually. Is that okay? Oh, okay, okay. All right. Yeah, um, now we, we, we provide, um, labor only, no truck. Is that what you need? Yeah, no, well, yeah, we just, basically, I just need you to move a large coffin. Oh, a large what? A coffin. A coffin? Is somebody in it? Yeah, yeah, my friend, my my friend's gonna be in it. He's here on the phone. If you have any questions about that, wait a minute. Your your friend's gonna be in the coffin. Yeah, it's a thing we do. It's like you know, we put. Yeah, I, I would be in actually. So like it's. Uh, wait, 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 no, wait. It's a, hold on, wait, wait. How can he talk to you if he's dead? Or he's not dead? No, he's not dead. It was just <laughs> no. We just it's like a joke thing. We put him in the coffin. No, you know? no. But basically, <laughs> I would be dead. Like. Uh, like, now I'm not dead, but I will be dead. Yeah, he'll be dead. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> He's lost. The doctor okay. told me, like, I would have, like, uh, one day or two, so... He lost the will to live. Yes. You understand? So wait, wait, what, is, what, is, what are you guys doing? What, what kind of... What is this? Like, some kind of... Uh... Is this some kind of a joke? Jack Kevorkian. <laughs> Jack Kevorkian. He he's, okay. he he's, he wrote a, he wrote down a paper that he's willing for me to help him to move on to the next phase. So I'm going yeah. to help him out. That's all. He's paying me money. Oh okay. Oh, oh okay. okay. I don't know if I can help you guys. I I, I can't do that. Sorry. It's all legal. It's all legal. It's all. He has the paper <laughs> right here. He just signed the paper. I'm good, man. I'm a good guy. All right, you guys have a good night. All right, look, the truth is, I drugged him. Pussy, I, man. I drugged him. All right. The truth is, I drugged him. I injected chlor- chlorinated water in his head, and he's doing whatever wow. I say right now. Okay. It's a roofie. All right. So. <laughs> it's a roofie. I gave this this guy a roofie, and I want to move him. <laughs> All right, Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Sal, you that you moved in pretty well with that. I appreciate that. A very good call, Brooklyn. So I am quickly getting you a hotel. A, us yeah. a hotel. We're yeah. going to be stuck together. You said you want to be in the hotel with me. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. All right, okay. Now I don't think I can get you an echo, so we're just going to pretend you have an echo. Work it out. Hotel. Okay. Hotel. If I could, uh, if my keyboard recuperate. Do 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 do. So what? You, uh, let me ask you. Just question here. What are you more? Well, would you be happier with a Thursday night show or a Friday night show? Does it matter to you at all? Or Wednesday night. Or Wednesday night. Yeah. Like basically, I heard like what you both guys said, and uh, like I suggested like the Saturday, but the Saturday seems to be uh, like uh, not working out for uh, Milkman. Well, no. Plus, I mean, Dwight's already on. I don't want to take his night, and 
I'd have to do yeah. it earlier, but no, I don't want to do yeah. that. Unless, like for me, I don't care. Like yeah. it could be like any day. I would like to just to still listen. You'd be around. You'd be alright yeah. with that. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. I mean, milkman, we could do like Saturday morning or afternoon, maybe. Yeah, it's, it's, it doesn't feel like a madhouse when we do that. You know, I like the daytime shows that I've done. They're always fun, but. You know, it's something cool about like a Thursday night when we hang out. Man, you know what? Fuck it. I just won't do the the. Who am I kidding? You know. You don't have to do it. Look, look. Why don't you do it like this? Here, why don't you do this? Right. Why don't you set one 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 week one week out of the month that you'll do a Wednesday show? Okay. For rest of the night, you'll do a regular show. Then that gives you the choice if you want to do something on Thursday. Uh-huh. Jack off. Use your pizza, go out to the <laughs> club and do a stand up or go out with a dinner or just go off. home and go to sleep. You can do it. Okay. No one's gonna know the difference. Why do I have to jack off? What was the first thing you thought of was me masturbating, Milkman? What is because what? you're always full of shit, dude. Yeah. That has nothing to do. That has nothing to do with it. I just wanna be you like, you like projecting. I know, I just like to yeah. give you crap. I wanna be the new Seinfeld, be. man. That's all no, the new Seinfeld. All right, dude. Oh. So like you're king you're a oh, kingdom of your own domain, right? Still? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all right. right. All right, Brooklyn Cell, we're stuck in the elevator right. in Reno. Here we go. Jordan to my dick. You want to start it he off? He kind of reminds me of Deedee's. I love his yeah, voice. Yeah, he yeah. reminds no, me of Deedee a little bit. You start doing doing like some... This is Patricia. How may I assist you? Yes, uh, hello, madam. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, I have a big problem right now, actually, because I'm in uh, your elevator, and actually I'm with my brother, and uh, he's basically uh, sick, like he got uh, some uh, health issues, so when he's, like, stuck in some place, like, he can kick stuff, he can do, like, bad stuff, so basically I need help to get out of uh, the elevator. Can you please help me? Okay. Hold on, I'll be right over there. Are you on the first floor? Uh, Brad, Brad, c- yeah, calm down. The, the okay? door, the door it's gonna be open. fine. The doors won't open. The elevator. Calm down. It's good. I'm on the phone. Wait, ma- madam, can you please Make wait? It I'm open. on the phone with the lady. She will help us. Okay. Damn it. Damn it. All right. Damn yeah, it. Yeah, I think he, I think he's going crazy right Damn now. It. Okay, calm down. Damn it. All righty, I'll, I'll send Hello? someone over right away. Madam, can you hear me? Hold on, I'll send Hello? someone over right away. Well, he's, <laughs> madam, he, he's trying to, to he, he's trying to get up in the elevator and like goes out. I don't know what he's doing. Like, wait, Brad. Okay. Hold Brad, on, I'll send. Come down. Wait, wait, madam. He needs to come down. Like he's trying to escape from the upper upper side of the thing. <laughs> Brad, stop it. Good. Is she there? I said to get what are what what floor are you on? Get down, madam. I'm on top Say of what? the I'm getting on top of the elevator. I can't do this. No, don't do it. You're gonna get hurt. Madam, hello, can you help us? Like it's not working. I'm pushing like the SOS button, but it's not working. Alright, hold on, I'll be right there. <laughs> Oh my god all the ways you travel join marriott rewards and be rewarded with points toward hotel so she shows up or receive frequent flyer miles with your favorite airline program in addition marriott i can't see her i don't know the membership like what's up you travel such as priority hotel check-in ma'am member run hold run hold i'll call a different place well, we went on, on the web at courtyard you bet you missed it I've been advised I'm being too loud, so. Barnes, how much extra cost? I'm stuck in the yeah, elevator. So We're stuck in the elevator. You need to All right, I've I've sent I've sent the manager to the, the fuck elevator. Out of the elevator, motherfucker, you. Excuse me, madam, but like he's don't listen, like because he's a bit like sick. He, he right. can't like stand when he's like locked up. Hey, you can't stand the, the situation. I've sent the I've sent the uh, manager you to help you. Shit. Yeah, but now we have a problem because because like he went up and he's actually like we are seeing like the cables and some stuff so like it's like it's crazy like now he's up in the no don't touch that I'm gonna push the button here to make it go no 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 hello to the east or to the west no I guess it would be to the west 
to the west, the west. Outlet. Yeah. Brad, can you see something up there? So, are you at the, what hotel are you at? Brad? Hello? What are you seeing, like, up there? What Hello? do you see? There's a Hello? Lot of, there's a lot of cables up here. Okay, you're not in my elevator. What hotel are you at? I'm on top of the elevator. No. You're on are. top of the He's elevator? On top. Yeah, he can see. Actually, well, what, what are you the, doing on top like of the cables. elevator? The elevator, huh? it wasn't going. It, do you see the <sighs> casino? Dude, there's no casino here. No, there's no casino here. He doesn't know. I, 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 look. What hotel are you at? Hello? Hello? Yeah, hello? hello? Isn't it like the Milkman Hotel and uh, Richard? The what? It's the... The Milkman Hotel? No. No, this is, this is not. Okay, well, you called the Courtyard Reno. Yeah, that's what I'm calling. Let me... Dude, what, what hotel? You t really? Yeah, I called my brother on my cell phone. What are you doing on top of the elevator? The elevator wasn't moving, so I came up here to try to fix it, and now I'm too scared to come down. <laughs> I don't know how to come down. Okay, because both my elevators are running. Well, I know that, yeah. I'm just here. I mean, it's fine. It's kind of dirty. There's a few, like, dead animals up here, like cockroaches and stuff. But... <laughs> come on. What, what elevator are you on? I don't know. I'm what? not, I'm not there's moving again. Shit. Last time I got really what close. What hotel are you at? Huh? What hotel are you at? The, the Reno Hotel. Which which Reno Hotel are you at? Uh, it's like the the car. What is it called? The, the Search of the Sea. Okay. And um. Oh. oh. And why did you get on top of the elevator? Because it wasn't going. So I went up here and I started like, I called my, my brother. He's an elevator technician for Otis Company. And he told me what the, the cable is displaced and it started working again. But now I, I'm afraid to come down. Oh, okay. You hear and the so, elevator? do you have any, um, do you have any like idea of which floor you're at? Like, um, is it like near the top, or do you think you went down? You need down? to get this. You need to fix this situation, motherfucker. You. Calm down. Calm down, bro. All right. Okay. I'm sorry. So, do you do you know if the elevator try, was like? Try to it, breathe like slowly. Try to breathe slowly, like to save like your oxygen. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Hello, madam, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, basically, he, he, he can die right now, and I told you, like, he have a problem when he's locked, like, he do crazy stuff. So, no, what are, what, no. What is your Don't name? Do that. Sorry, ma'am? What is your name? Ryan? Hello? Huh? Ryan? Ryan? So and you're Brian, and what's your... Yeah, his and his name, name is, Brad. is Brad. Yeah, and basically he called me, like, from uh, the elevator, and I'm trying to help him. So where are you, Brian? Well, me, I'm in the Milkman's Hotel, but he's, like, in the Reno Hotel. And I'm trying oh. to get him out of there, yeah. Give me a... and so Do you what, know the Milkman what... Hotel? Do you know it? Which hotel? The Milkman's Hotel facility. The... The Milkman Hotel? Yeah. Can I smoke up here? So, uh, um, they got Brian? the casino, basically. They got the casino in the Milkman Hotel. But, uh... So, Brian, what city are you in? This one Brad? is stupid. We're in Reno, you stupid. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I think we, we told you so that, Brian, but it seems to be... Brian, what stupid. hotel is Brad in? It starts with Brad the in the, is in the Reno Hotel, I believe. It starts with the C. All righty. And, um... Did you, you get maintenance or someone, like, to, to help him? Or? 
Yeah, I've sent someone there, and they said to maybe um, keep talking to you while they work on the problem. So they're there on site working on it. Yeah. And I, I'm I'm really scared like he would die because basically he's like up the elevator. Yeah, and so the, we've the sent gentleman, a... like your colleague, said it's working. So if it's working yeah. and he's uh, up, like he can die, right? So what is your um, what is Brad's last name? Because if I have his last name, I can look him up on the computer and know what floor he's on. Lavia. Brian, could you tell me Brad's last name? Uh, I don't know his uh, last name because, like, he's uh, half my brother, so I don't know. So. Like he's my like he's my brother, but uh, we don't have the same dad. Say what? I didn't say anything, so it must be um, something on the intercom there. Yo, so yo, Brian, Brad, is, Brad is there can, any? You, can you please get down? Asshole. Brad, Brian? do you hear me? Yeah. Can you get down? Hey, all right. Can you get down? I'm gonna come down. This, this is dangerous. Okay, come down and and calm down and try try to push like the SOS button. There is always like the SOS button. Okay, but she says that she doesn't understand. I think she's stupid. She has a disability, I think. Give me a second. I'm going to jump down. Uh, I, I madam, gotta, I have hello? I to, to get down. Hello, madam. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can we speak to, uh, like, the man in charge there? Yeah. Like, the he's, man in charge of the, the maintenance or stuff like that? All right, I'm down. He's He's... He's trying to help you. He's at the elevator right now. Oh, here he comes. Here you go. Okay, so you say you're at the courtyard Reno, right? Well, he right. is. I'm not. Yeah, right. he is. Are you sure? Because I'm calling the police right now. So if it's a false alarm, I mean, I want to help you, but, you know, if this is a false alarm no, or no, a prank. No, no, it's not, sir. It's not. It's what? Not. I, I just don't understand what you're doing on top of my elevator. It starts with There's a no C. There's no way for you to get on top of it. It starts with a C. Starts with a C. What starts with a C? The name. The name of what? You know the, the the machine, the building machine. Oh. The building machine. Okay. Well, I'm going to call the cops. No, 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 and no, I don't, no, no. Yeah, no, I'm no, calling the cops no, right no, now. No, so they're on their way. I don't give you permission, motherfucker. I'm not in your hotel. Oh. 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 All right. My bad. All right. I had a chance to step out of it. Let me try to call back real quick. Give me a second. <laughs> That's funny. Cops just gonna show like, what the fuck are you talking about? And I, I should, tr I keep calling the same city with the same story though. And they're gonna be known. The band. Hello, hello. Yes. Yeah, I'm not there at the hotel. I'm in a different hotel, and I'm not in the elevator. We're just making a practical joke. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Sorry, madam. You just, you just got butt slammed. Yeah, you just got butt slammed. That's all. Oh boy! All right. Well, that's this will be the last Madhouse raid. This will solve our stand-up comedy problem, eh, Milkman? Now we don't got to worry about that. I think that right there was a good taste of stand-up comedy. Yeah, <laughs> standing up on top of the elevator. I'm still standing here, man. Yeah. I'm still standing here. It was a good call, though. I mean, the ending wasn't as like sort of pleasant, but <laughs> actually, the body of the call was actually funny, man. The body. Uh, you know, just where it goes the end, just like fade down. <laughs> That's another good name uh, for you. You got the hotel, body. Milkman. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. All right, big guy. Thanks for being on. That was fun. You All did right. well. That's funny, Brooklyn. All Peace right. out, brother. Yeah. Have a, have a good care. week. See you there, buddy. Yeah. And you sure, Brad. Take that. Take that, Brad. Yeah, Brad Carter. <laughs> All right. Good. Take that. Yeah, use your advantages. See, Brad that was guys. good, man. Mwah, 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 mwah. Oh, wow. He was kissing all over my penis, all over the shaft. That's how I like my blowjobs to start out. All right. Good yeah. call, man. That's something different. Kiss and lick the shaft before you start sucking my dick, ladies, just so you know when we have our next meetup. Uh, <laughs> all right. We have a whole ton of – see, th yeah, we have a whole ton of voicemails. We're, yeah, we're going to have to do a show where we just literally just let people say one thing and get out. Here's uh, Here's a few. Do a hit and run, okay? That's what they call like a hit and run, where you get to say one thing and then that's it, and then boom, you know, like you one sentence, one one quick 
phrase, you know, what that's it. Yeah. All right, let's play a few voicemail here before we wrap it up. We're about 15 minutes away. Let's play some voicemails here for the good folks who've been leaving them. That's Huey from Australia. Um, just trying to call and say, hey, Hi. don't forget my prank. Uh, uh, I think you're a message on, uh, on Facebook. I think fi- it's Carly. On Facebook? Carlito Machine or Carlito Horse or something. That's not me. But I couldn't no. find um, Madhouse Live. Nope. nope. Like you there, so. Madhouse.live. Ch- Carlito Cross. Madhouse.live on Facebook. Yeah, see if you can find it. Thank you. Bye. All right, all right, all right. Next. Thanks, Australia, for calling in. Hey, it's Australia, man. Hey, hey there, front reception. Hey, it's, it's Matt Hellox. That one they thought it was me was not me. Oh, my bad. Sorry, Matt. I'm listening to your uh, voicemail right now. You should pick up the line, buddy. Watch any live. Cheers, yo. All right, my my friend, Matt Hellock. Yeah, he's... Matt, Matt Hellock. Yeah, my bad. I'm trying to get to them as I can, buddy. I'm trying. It's it gets, it's a popular show. i got to stop saying that. Um, let's see what this is. Yo, Carlito. been listening to your show for a long time. I used to tune in all the time when I was doing... Uh... You know what? Let me interrupt this real quick. You know what this reminds me of, Milkman? You like Click and Clack, right? You remember Click and Clack, that show? Where you... Where yeah. You, yeah it, to call in the show, you have to leave a voicemail first, and then they play the voicemail. Then they call you back about your fucking car problem. They screen everyone. I'm totally not doing that yeah, on purpose. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that was great. The, they were the, uh, the, the Clackett brothers. Yeah. Clackett brothers? Clackett brothers? Yeah, yeah, the car brothers or whatever. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it literally is. I mean, I'm trying to... Uh, I, One of them died, so I think the show went off the air finally. Uh, that was an NPR show, right? Yeah, yeah. inspections because I just listen to them while I'm working. You guys always put me in a great mood for yes. uh, work days. Even the shittiest days were awesome. Vehicle inspections got to be stressful. People like, oh, man, come on. Listening to you and Milkman and that cool music you guys always have in the background there. It's always fitting my style, which is kind of a weird style of music, but you guys kind of get it. Uh, anyway, yeah. keep up the good shit. Milkman, I love you, bro. I, for whatever reason, man, I feel like we know each other somehow. But, yeah, keep it real, Milkman. <laughs> Don't listen to these haters. Yeah. There you go, Milkman. You, you guys probably met oh, a really? lucid dream. That's probably where it was. Oh, wow. Well, nice yeah, Carly, boy, you should see my wife. She's fucking hot. Ah. I got the new job at the strip bar. The dead. And she's fucking there, too. What did they spit you going? I think that was someone doing the dead imitation. Not bad, not bad. That's funny. All right, let's see. Oh, I couldn't get it. It was literally just broken up. I didn't catch it. Sorry. Yeah, it was, you know, it was a good effort, good effort. A few more here. She's having sex with. Another recording. No, thank you. Next. Well, that's minus well, one plus one. one thing. Yeah. This OB original. Uh-huh. Y'all make me laugh my tail off every time. Right. I wish you could call Joey Guns again because he just seems to... Maybe I don't know. Yeah, we tried. He didn't want to talk to me. He heard my voice and clicked right away. Oh, he got got nervous. Yeah. Stage fright. Anyway, my chicken machine broke and um, the glass was breaking. My chicken was eating. (laughs) I hope my chicken don't get sick. Oh, me too, man. Machines. Yeah. I'm going to take her down to the Walmart. Anyways. All right, brother. One, two, three. Bye. Ah, all right, man. Yeah, don't feed your glass ch- chicken to your glass, glass to your chicken. Either way, don't do it. The horse man. There you go, the horse man's protest. Yeah. All right, sounds like I know someone listening to the show there didn't turn their shit down. Next. Oh, hey, man. Hey, Carlito. It's a uh, uh, great show, man. I'm happy I finally got to catch one of your shows live. Yeah. I was hoping to get through, but. Sorry, man. Yeah. All right, take it easy, brother. All right, thank you. All right, here's another one. This is the last one here. You rock, Carlito. Well, thank you. I rock. Thank you for saying I rock. Oh, uh, I didn't get to hear uh, fucking Dialer's Dialer Man. Maybe we'll have Dialer on as a special guest next week. We'll let him hang out with us for a while. You, I know you like Dialer. Dialer cracked you up that prank scheme. Yeah, he's heard cool, him. dude. Dialer's cool people. People, Di- and people are like, see, nobody talked over tonight, and look how cool it was. It was peaceful tonight. Whenever it's yeah. peaceful. 
Yeah, I just feel bad. Dwight didn't get to do a prank, you know. And Dwight, I, I yeah, but like, well, that, that wasn't because, that was only because we ran out of time. That was the only reason. Yeah, I just feel bad. I don't want to, you know. Dwight always has well, me on his show. We'll get, next time we'll get to make sure he gets a fucking call. On Dwight it. always has me on his show. He's always good people to me. I know. Well, I'm next guy, time like we'll make sure he gets a call in. I got a lot of love for Dwight. He's a good friend of mine. I yeah. love Dwight too, man. Yeah. Dwight's like cool. really, like honestly, like my good prank friends are like you, Milkman. You're up there, Brad, Dwight, Clay. Um, yeah, that's it. I don't. I hate the. No, there's a Jen. I'm pretty close with. Nashby, uh, Axpa, Palindrome. Those guys, we're always hang out. If anyone wants to call in, I got time for like maybe one more caller. 405-396-6884. 405-396-6884. 405-39-MOUTHA. Let me see if there are any more Ethan numbers I can get before we uh, call it off. We got about 10 minutes left or less. Probably less. Whoa, we got an ad to work in adult movies. We'll train. <laughs> they'll train you. You got to be qualified for that. Huh? Yeah, they, I bet you they'll train you already. Right. What are your training qualifications there? You got any uh, You got a pussy? References? References? <laughs> John Holmes? You got a vagina? They call me John Holmes back in the day. Huh? Yeah. I'll give it a shot. Let's see. All in all, a good show. I've had a lot of fun tonight. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in, man. I want to thank all our Patreon subscribers. You all know who you are. I didn't pick a Patreon subscriber of the show. Let me get one up here real quick. Hello, everyone, and thank you for calling the famous High Society Entertainment, what? the leaders in the adult entertainment industry yeah if you are applying to be a driver please call our driver job Look, information line there you go. at 513-244-3357 that's 513-244-3357 513-244-3357 all right, this isn't the phone. So that number is busy, unfortunately. Here's a caller. Last caller of the show. Thank you for joining. Please be nice. Hello. What's up, buddy? Hey, no Matt Hillock. Uh, what's up? Okay. Yeah, How you Matt. Doing, guys? Matt Hillock. No yeah. Matt, Matt. That is fucking great. It's good to have you on, Matt. How you been, brother? It seems like I haven't talked I'm to you much good. in the last few days. Yeah, I've been know. enjoying the show. Yeah. Was waiting to hear myself be called one of the prank friends. Uh huh. I got left out. Okay. Dumb, dumb, dumb. I wasn't one of the good prank call buddies. Well, that happens. Hey, real quick, I just want to mention uh, our our Patreon star, our Patreon horse of the day, is Mr. Buster Casey. Who actually uh, didn't Buster leave a voicemail earlier? Or yeah, Buster and Nashy called in. I think maybe I don't know. I'm high. Uh, nice. Buster's been supporting Madhouse Radio since August of 2014. A militia Buster member. Buster Casey. Thank you very much, Buster, Buster Casey. Casey. Buster Hyman. All Thanks, right. Man. Much Buster appreciated, Casey, bro. buddy. All right. Don't stop for the product. Yeah. You gotta get that. That's a strong supporter right there. Hello, Matt Hillock. I was on mute. I was trying to say hello to you, brother. I think I think he heard you, Matt. Are you there? Can you speak up, Matt? You're really low. Oh, am I, am I not on my real mic or some bullshit? Ma- yeah, you Skype? sound like you sound like you're on the laptop, oh, not far away. Because I'm. Oh, hang on, audio. Set. Oh yeah, there. Maybe that's. Uh, oh, it's because I moved it computers. Because uh, I was gonna, I was gonna stream. Uh-huh. Give me one moment. All I was right. going to wait till you got off the air, and then I was going to try to stream some gaming. Gotcha, gotcha. Hey. Gotcha. Well, you got some GTA 5 going on tonight? GTA 5? GTA 5? He might be in the middle of switching his mics. Let's do a prank call here real quick while Matt gets set. Just want to mention, I, from what I understand, as far as I know, there is uh, a pa- palindrome party pranks tonight. Uh, and the... the 
I didn't even give out the link today. Discord.gg slash pranks. You can find a link to that over at madhouselive.com. The Discord room, the hijinks Discord. Uh, prank calls in the voice channel at the conclusion of tonight's show machine that you're listening to right now. The Madhouse Radio Show, the superior show, the, the dominant force in prank calls. The original. Settle for nothing less. Often imitated, never duplicated. Never. Thank you for calling. Please leave a message and your call will be returned as awesome. No artificial ingredients included. Matt, you're back. I hear some hustle. Some hustle bustle. No? Matt? <laughs> Matt. Matt, Matt, Matt. Matt, 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 Matt. Matt, 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 Matt. All right. Uh, so that was supposed to be for a, uh, for, uh, a furnished room. They didn't pick up. I got to try him for one more attempt, and then we're going to have to walk it out of here. Let's see. Where is a number here? For more information, compensation, fit some kind of job, maybe too late. Here's a job for a ca- Here's a, another. We had to show you the camera last week. Here's another attempt. This may not go down. One more try. There you one are. More try. Yeah, we got you now. All one right, One more. You're here, Matt. We hear you, buddy. Like a goober. You sound perfect now, good uh, sir. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I got a new uh, mic arm. It's, uh, like, longer, so I don't have to hunch over because I was watching myself streaming games, and I was like a humpback, you oh, know, because I super glued the I super glued the fuck thing to the table so I can't move uh-huh. the clip for it. So I thought it would be better just to get a longer microphone arm. Probably. And that's what I did. That's good for the MS, you know? Your call yeah, cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number Ooh, and dial don't again. Don't put going. That's the way to go. She sounds like particularly sexy or just a weird operator. A little bit, yeah. I'll try dialing a one more time, and that's, that's going to be it. That's it. That's it, man. It's time. Hey, my wife will be here kicking me out. Oh, yeah, I Plus, felt I, for I, you. I, I, for, I felt for you for being too loud. Nah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to smoke a ton of weed, and I'm going to do prank calls in the pa- with Palindrome and them. Hello? You got a, you Hello? Got a, you got a Toyota Camry? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I want to make sure the current uh, the current oil, when was the last time the oil was changed? How, about how many miles has it been? And did you do it normally um, every three thousand and so? Uh, at least, yeah. She had it done every time uh, it needed to be done. They, they every took it every over time, time she, she menstruated. Time. Every time she menstruated. <laughs> She's just gone. She's gone. Well enough, because I got to pee again. You know. Is that what happened? Uh, I got to pee again anyway, so it's it's good enough that it, it, it's it's over. She hung up. She hung up. All right, Matt. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to catch cheers, you the flip. Cheers, buddy. All right. I'll, I'll yeah. try to join you for a GTA 5. See you, buddy. All right. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone, be sure to check out Matt streaming on the shit motherfucker about uh, that, about with the GTA 5. They go on Twitch. I think it's Zach's Intel on Twitch. Something like that. I'm sure there's links out there. I'm trying to get Milkman back on here so he can say our goodbye. All right, goodbyes. Milkman. Milkman's going to say goodbye to all the little labios that called in tonight. Called in tonight, motherfucker, called in tonight. Hey, man, I don't know how it happened, but I got you back, buddy. You didn't miss anything. It was a hang-up. It's okay, buddy. I was going to say, we've got the menstrual, and then I I got hung up. Yeah. I I didn't miss anything. I hit the button again, you know. You know, it's all right, dude. You hit the right time, even if you didn't mean to. Dude. Yeah, yeah. But hey, we had a pretty good show, right? What do you think? You want to take yeah. us? You want to take us out of here, bro? Oh yeah, brother. I think we did great. Man, we had how many people? We had visited tonight, man. We had some of our old, old, old friends, man, from back in the day, man. The, yeah. Uh, Dwight, we had Matt. Uh, shit, uh, Brad. RBCP. Uh, we did. Mm-hmm. Um, Ian called, Ethan, call. Brooklyn Cell called in, uh, Buster Casey, uh, mm-hmm. B- B- Dragon Mar. I forget who else. A lot of people called in, a lot of voicemails too, you know? Yeah. Yeah, man. God we damn. did good, dude. 
I think, I think, yeah, I think we had good interactions. We, we met quite a few people and some of our old people and some of our new people. But, hey. No, I didn't do that. That's that's just ended by remote. That means Milkman did that. I didn't touch nothing. Unless I ran out of credits. Calling him back. He just dropped out. That was not me. Uh-uh. You there? Yeah. Yeah, you, you Yeah, you dropped that uh, out of nowhere. I don't know what happened, brother. Okay. I don't even know where I was at. Okay, so like I was trying to say, hmm. Um, okay, so we did good. We had good interactions, man. We had a lot of people show up tonight. Friends from the new, a lot of friends from the old, man. That's what we do right here in the Madhouse, man. We get together every week right here on the Madhouse. Uh, most interactive show you can find right here on the internet. Uh, we dropped a dime. We asked you to just give us a time. You bring a friend or bury it, you bring your enemies because they're going to be welcome right here in the madhouse. That's right. With me, the milkman, and your fearless General Lisbo, the leader of the madhouse, Carlito. Thank yeah. you so much, brother, for Thanks. having me along and, and keeping this operation here rolling. Show enough, man. I'm so happy we're together again doing our show machine. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't... Yeah, man. I had a yeah. good time. I think it was a, a rather pleasant fun show yeah dude. i'm sorry I mean, you... we had a few little errors and it was like hey dude look it i'll come out on the up exactly all right everybody well thanks for tuning in thanks everyone who uh tuned in tonight and uh called in all our subscribers uh on our different special uh, edition friday show yeah oh. it was fun um, a big thank you to all our Patreon supporters. Be sure to go to patreon.com slash madhouse if you'd like to support us. We'd appreciate it. Uh, oh, madhouselive.com is the main website you. to get all your links that you need. I just lost milk bending. He keeps dropping. Madhouselive.com is the main website for all the links to our podcast as well as live tuning and shellcast tuning. To listen to the show 24-7, 365, live or not, Head over to MadhouseLive.com. Hit on your, uh, your tune-in links, different ways. There's even a phone number you can call when it works. Follow me on Twitter, at Madhouse on Twitter. And on Facebook, Madhouse.live. Uh, and uh, that's about it. That's all I got. All right, guys, I'm going to go eat some uh, Thai food. I got waiting for me. Y'all have a good weekend. Behave yourselves. Be good to each other. And be sure to check out Prank Calls, discord.gg forward slash pranks. Live prank calls coming up right now in the voice channel there. Discord. God damn it. Man, I fucked your dick, man.